Hello everybody, welcome to the most over stream on the internet. <laughs> I was considering turning, but I just bumped. I can't. <laughs> Happy, fuck what I call it, super Early. deep fried Valentine's ball day Sunday. Hello. Technically like early Valentine's super deep fried ball day. Yeah, we're not here on Mondays. Monday is Valentine's Day, so today is Valentine's Day now. Uh, today, technically tomorrow for us, is the Super Bowl, so happy everything. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hello everybody. Hello Fody. hello Evie, hello Ranger. Hope you're all ready for this. Fody, what would you like us to say at Fire Goddess Bath? Because otherwise that's all you're gonna get. <laughs> at Fire Goddess Bath? Oh. Mm -hmm. Ranger was not first. <laughs> Ranger, he thinks he's first, but he wasn't. Oh, there you go. <laughs> There's a reason why we don't do this every day. Yeah, no. Also, we do play a video game in a bit, um, so I'm pre-drinking. I already had my drinks before stream. Hopefully, Let's this get my time. My natural blush. Oh yeah, same. Um, <laughs> Hopefully this time I won't choke on my alcohol halfway through the stream and then seem to die from it. So here we go. How are you all doing? You're gonna be fine. Is it mm, fire goddess bath? Fundy <laughs> loves you very much, but we do too. Actually, we love you more than he does, but... <laughs> <laughs> I could not do it, sorry. <laughs> That's my secret cap, I'm always pre-drinking. So long as your kidneys and your liver can like hang in there, then uh, Godspeed on your journey that is hopefully uh, paced and full of moderation. So uh, we don't really do Super Bowl. Um, do you guys have any plans? What do you do on a <coughs> Super Bowl Sunday other than eat too much deep fried food, I believe? Prepare snacks. Well, we're here. So that part is taken care of. A Eat food, nice, Qdoba. I, What's a, oh, Qdoba is the delivery service, right? Qdoba is a chain that makes Mexican food. Oh, you that. were this close. I was very Not close. Not this close, Tifa? I was not this close. you ordered that delivers it, I don't know. Go enjoy. Amazon didn't deliver my game, call them and tell them I'm disappointed. Don't they have <laughs> a chat function? They do over here in Germany. I bet Ranger saw the package and just hit it. He's like, oh nah, put yep. this one in the back. Fuck that guy. <laughs> nah, not today. Ooh, we Pokemon Black, Black 2 today. Nice. 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 Congratulations. Happy to report that it appears authentic. Congrats, which is good, because I paid 200 bucks for it. Yeah, that's, um, mm. that's Nintendo prices for you, and that's disgusting. I don't understand why they don't reprint some of their games occasionally. But what can you do? Well, because now they're collector's items, and I think if they would suddenly start reprinting, you would have people who paid 200 bucks for it. Yes, but then Nintendo and the Pokemon company would make the money and not people selling their yeah. copies. Well, that is fair. Just saying. Just saying. Or they should... Have set on them. Nintendo DS. Or they should re-release them all digitally so that physical copies don't get as expensive. We smart. And that way still Nintendo gets money and not people selling their copies. Also oh. nice, even though I do prefer physical copies myself. It depends on the platform. Yeah, okay. That is fair. At least for me it does. Like there is something to be said about sliding a cartridge into a game console and just booting up. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, which Xenoblade did you order again? Definitive edition, Xenoblade 1. Oh, never mind. Yeah, imagine being able to read. Which one of us is <laughs> drinking the alcohol, Tifa? Because I think it's me. Yeah, but I already drank all of it. No. Yours is you. still in there. Yeah, and it's uh, working. I hit a good ratio. <laughs> As someone who paid all that money, I agree, make them more accessible. Maybe one day there's gonna be like a Switch remake or a port. I would... I mean, they earn yeah, so much would, money off of Pokemon. I would buy that instantly if they announce a hard gold soul silver remake. 
Yeah, I mean. But even if they would just directly port it to the Switch, people would still buy it. I would prefer that over what they did with Diamond and Pearl. <laughs> it yes. just needs to have the word Pokemon in it, and people like me as well will just yes. throw their money at it anyway. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I would. And I don't believe, and I have no clue what all runs behind it, but I don't believe porting a game is that much work. I, well, no it is. <laughs> yeah, but you're not gonna tell me a whole team needs to spend weeks or months on that. Yes. Really? Yes. Okay, then I take it back. It depends on the platform you port it from and the platform you port it to. Yes. Okay, fair. Especially with uh, non-standard hardware. I mean, the Nintendo stuff is pretty standard. They don't really do custom hardware anymore. They used to. But uh, you need to tell the new system to make it look like the old system. You know, it, it's difficult. Mm, fair, fair. People get paid for that for a reason, Tifa. Oh, let me move my tea over. The S parts are probably a pain. I would think so, mostly because of a two screen thing and you would have to find a way to make that nice to play on one screen. But Square Enix did it with uh, The World Ends With You, so if they can do it, everybody should be able to. Then again, we're talking about Pokemon and Game Freak, so... Yeah, but I mean, no. it's not the first time I've heard people do it, or like fans actually doing it. And if they That's can true. do it, why can't the company do it? That it should is be easier for a company. Very true. I think it was last year or the year before that I people managed finishing reverse engineering Super Mario 64 and porting it to everything, including the PC, natively. Um, I know Ocarina of Time is done now. They haven't, an, they haven't released anything yet, but it's done. They showed a trailer. And I know a ton of other games also are being reverse engineered. So then you can port mm. it yourself as people who haven't worked on the games before. I'm looking forward to it. I am very much looking forward to it. In Pokemon, you know, maybe one day. You know what else I'm looking forward to? What? The game we're about to play. Yes, I am. I know super little about this game, besides the fact that I've wanted to play it for the past three or four years even, I think. I just never did it. And now we're doing it. What's on deck for today? We have to do it today because... Do you really want to know? Because, wait, before that, more, oh. more drumming up hype. <laughs> um, the stars have aligned. Because this game, I feel, is a Valentine's Day kind of game. For us, at least. Yeah. But the subject matter also begs for it to be played around the time when people normally would ingest copious amounts of food, preferably deep fried and heavily <laughs> salted. And only really when those stars align, but the planets are in order, then I feel is the most justified moment to whip out this game. So we're gonna do that in a moment. I was actually really looking forward to also playing Hatsuful Boyfriend again. For the people that still rem don't remember, that was the pitching dating simulator Pigeon. game. Pigeon. Pigeon. That we played last year on Valentine's Day. Yes. And we finished a whole character chapter. Yes, we did. But there are still so many left. Yes. You want to do that? Ending party? Fuck you. You want to do that after the <laughs> Oh, maybe. I can leave that for special occasions, but today, like Jack said, stars aligned, blah de blah, everything's deep fried. We have... Yes. I hope it's on the same level as goodness game lined up. The fuck did you just say? Yeah, it made sense in my head. Just start the game. I hope <laughs> it's on the same level as goodness game that we... What the yeah, fuck? The same level as it being as good as Hatiful Boyfriend. Has anyone gone as far as to even decide to what? <laughs> just start the game. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna see if I can get this working. So, click here. Click there and come on, capture the game, capture the game. People need to see the intro. Oh. I'm pressing the button because I saw it. And there we go. Yes, Fody. Yes.
That's me eating. There appears to be a ghost. I don't think Colonel Sanders looks like that though. Yes, he does. I have unfortunately seen other people play this. <laughs> I hope they liked it. I know it's a thing, but I've never actually seen the game. I'm so sorry, I'm but really looking forward to it. Um, no disrespect to the people working fast food, but if every person working at KFC would give me that look, I'd still be eating meat. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Tifa, are you ready for this magical adventure? You want your chicken deep fried? Boneless, preferably. <laughs> that even started my stomach. <laughs> yeah, you made yourself, you made your own stomach upset with that bullshit. <clears throat> so, um, I'm not made for this. Which one of us gets to voice Colonel Sanders? Because I'm pretty sure he's the main character. Well, you obviously. Okay. <laughs> you, you can be the dog. I can be the dog. I think it's a corgi. I can also be the chickens. Tell us your name. Uh, what's our name, Tifa? He's not the main. What the fuck? Oh, I thought we need to find a date yeah. for him. End of the stream. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Worst game ever made. <clears> oh, <throat> well, then let's find out. Wait. What's our name, Tifa? Welcome, Chef. What? Is the main character male or female? Both. Eggs. Eggy. Make it cute. Eggy, yeah, I can live with that. <laughs> so fuck. <laughs> mm, let's not go there quite yet. Eggy. I have a feeling our name is gonna be said a lot. Yes. Eggy. Sure, Eggy. Are we gonna spend 90 minutes discussing the name in the game <laughs> we're gonna play once in our lives? No, if it's good, I'm willing to play more. No, no, no. Eggy is fine. Well, how long to beat has was clocking in at two hours, so I have a modicum of faith that we might actually beat the entire game today. Just for once. That's okay. Does it have several paths or only one ending? I don't know, but let's find out. Also, I see biscuits. Those are the American biscuits, right? Yes. Because scones and... Yes. Something fried <clears throat> I wouldn't do. Now the real question is, which one of us is the main character? I think it's gonna be... You. you. You can be the main character, Tifa. I want the main character? Well, it, this would definitely be me because it has a chicken poster, so I guess. I, no, that's a cock. <laughs> I know it's a chicken. <laughs> Tifa, you were so sad at um, in Danganronpa per free. You can be the main character this time. All right, but this is a system message. You want to be the system? The narration? Yeah. I want a biscuit. Go get one. Or bake one. Mm, biscuits, biscuits are amazing. I've never had them. I've never had one of them. Oh, they sell biscuits at KFC. Does ours do that? No. no right? Because I don't think I've ever seen... No, it's not really a thing over here. Not at all. Alright. <clears throat> Let me try to do a sexy machine narration voice. <clears throat> Everybody, hands where we can see them. If we were in the same room. You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. How do I continue this? Did I you click. click? <laughs> I expected to press the enter button for it to work. Riggs, thank, thank you for the lurk. Appreciate it. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in that moment forever. I keep pressing okay. enter, it doesn't do anything. I think your cock is stuck. This is what it would sound like, yes. <laughs> or you could wake up now, 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 now. Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. Cool, 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 Tifa, cool, cool, pick cool. one. This oh. is annoying. <laughs> um, okay, let's get up. No. No. You slept through the school year and gave up on the once in a lifetime opportunity to meet Colonel Sanders. Wow, game over. Yes! <laughs> you got a yes! game over. <laughs> At least try to get through the game. Okay, let's try to Listen, I went into this game saying I have hopes that we can beat this and we just fucking did. 
Well, you're welcome, everybody. In that Thank case. you. So, right, how, so did how did you, you like it? <laughs> um, my favorite character, underrated, really, was the chicken on the poster. I wish we could have learned more about him. Ten out of ten character for sure. So well, that was right. definitely a speed run. I think we can beat that though. Let's say that climax was premature. <clears throat> I wonder Welcome how many of those you can fit in today. Well, yeah, no, the moment is gone, and I was thinking, do I say a lot, implying smaller size, or do I say not as many, implying a bigger size, but also less bad jokes? Both of which are not the outcomes I wanted, so let's carry on. Too late, let's try again. Game over already. You might not be cut out for this. Let's try that again. Do we start completely over every time? Tifa, because we otherwise... went through two screens of text. Yeah, now we did, but I'm talking about later. Yes. Yes, we do, because then if we're already like an hour in and you fuck up on the option. That's why you save occasionally. Oh, fair. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, fine. Smack that clock. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School. Academy for Learning. That's not you... very an original name. Yes, it is now. What should they have called it? Tender's Peak Academy? Your mind begins to wander, as do your hands under the bed sheets. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by and you find by your imagination. Blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> Time begins to fly by and you find your imagination getting away from you. Take it seriously. Take it seriously. This is a serious fucking stream, people. I'd better make sure to arrive prepared for the first day. That's not a very sexy voice. Yeah, because I'm happy. I'm excited. It's my first day of school. Gonna meet Gordley Ramsley. No, Colonel Sanders Lee. <laughs> you bust through your morning checklist. Teeth. Brushed, hair, combed, pits, deodorized. Nothing can stop you now. You confidently grab a biscuit, strut out the door and head off to class. Yeah, that's a, <laughs> that's a Tifa eating sound if I've ever heard one. Yeah, that's, no. That's how I would eat my biscuits. Accurate. I mean, look at it. <laughs> that's how I'm gonna eat your biscuit. <laughs> I couldn't not. I. Just what you needed to get your blood flowing. These biscuits look really good though, that aside. Time to raid Tifa's box again, huh? Standing no, my biscuit. In... <laughs> Gluten free too. <laughs> Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. Mm. She's the most adorable, awkward person you've ever met and you absolutely love her for it. Can you just speak this in your normal voice? Because I think they made a character based on you. No, 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 I don't think so. First of all, X fucking cues me. Do you know how many compliments I just gave you in that one sentence? Exactly. You called me awkward. Adorably awkward. <laughs> fine, 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 I'll take and it. And you absolutely love her for it. Aww. Bitch. <laughs> there you go. Good morning, Eggy. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? Actually, I'm... Because I sure am excited, a little nervous. Okay, 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 a lot nervous. But still, it's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Classic Miriam, raised by master chef parents, she's always held herself to a very high standard. <laughs> oh, those crocodile tears. I know, right? You know that crocodile, te crocodile <laughs> tears are fake tears, though, right? Yeah, I know, but in this case, they're just big. 
big tears fan. Oh my god. <laughs> you literally just said the opposite of a thing you meant. Ever since we were little babies playing together and you rescued me from that quicksand box? Quicksand box. There's a story there. It's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to do great. Tifa calling a fake as fuck ripoff. Yeah, <laughs> accidentally too. But with University of Cooking School Academy for Learning's famous three days only semesters, I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. Three day only. <laughs> I'm in. I kind of expected this to be like a four year study. Uh, that could very well be, yes. Actually expected this game to be longer too, but I guess they somehow have to get through the roughly two hours of playtime. We're gonna do a yes. three day stream. This is a 72 hour KFC cooking stream, yeah. You think they train people for three days? Apparently. That's what I'm saying. <clears throat> it takes three days to become a master chef. <laughs> and KFC apparently it does. <laughs> no. <clears throat> a sweet girl, Miriam has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. <laughs> no. That's kind of <laughs> cute, I guess. But on a mannequin? How do you do that? I can honestly say I have never tried. I wouldn't know. Also so. chipping your teeth suck. My front teeth are fake. I actually hit them on the sidewalk once while skateboarding. I went like head first. Yeah, she basically curb stomped herself. <laughs> Amazing, but still. But like on a mannequin? That's so hard to imagine. I've worked at a KFC, which is why I'll never eat there again, unless it's biscuits. Mm, apparently their corn is also really good, even though I've Can't never Can't complain. Had it. I have. Yeah? Yeah, it's good. But it's too buttery for me. Usually okay, they throw the butter in the package already, like over here it comes wrapped already when you buy it. And then they give you extra butter and I'm like, no thank you, it's got plenty. Can I have a like napkin so that I can dab some of it off because I want my popcorn with butter, not my butter with popcorn. Mm. Corn, not popcorn. Sorry, alcohol. Corn. Should you pep talk her or change the subject to give her some relief? I would think pep talk. I agree. Remember last month when we saw that fortune teller and had our tarot cards read? The lady with the mask who gave me nightmares. I've been trying to forget. I know she looked spooky, but she was so sweet. And she told you that you were destined for great things. Destined? Des destined. destined. Tifa, this is why you will never be the main character. <laughs> Only in my life. Aww. I know, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Remember that card with the fancy looking tower and the other card featuring that handsome fellow in the red suit? Hmm. I've been waiting for so long to meet a handsome fellow I could call my own. Also her fingers or... It's uh, basically her hand is Jojo posing. Yeah, it... This is how I always talk as well. This is how sexy chefs pose, naturally. This is her idol animation. <laughs> Ooh. And I'm sure you will soon. In no time we'll be graduating. And Literally. You'll be delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time. Biscuits for everyone. Yeah. Free day chicken. As you talk Miriam up, you can feel her nerves begin to ease. It looks like she has lost fingers on her left hand. It kind of does because they blend into one. Th this is the price you pay to get into the school. It's like Assassin's Creed, you have to give up a finger. Hmm. And still you'll become a master chef. <laughs> Hashtag nubs. Um, maybe we get to see them later. Maybe it's this kind of game. The animation itself is surprisingly good though. I don't hate this game so far. Yeah, it looks good. You know what? Maybe everything will be okay after all. And if not, at least I have these killer bangs. <laughs> bangs. Can you believe I cut them myself? You can definitely believe it. <laughs> what? Tell me how great I look. You look uh, great. 
yeah, that's uh, Eggy is being a good friend. Just saying. Yeah, I don't even think it looks bad to be honest. I couldn't have told you that she cut for myself. But... I just don't really like the pink bow tie in it's, front of the chef's head. It's to break up the green hair and to tie it together with a almost red thing she has around her neck and the shoes or boots. Well, I'm not fashionable enough for that. It's called a color scheme, Tifa. Do you learn? I, I cannot believe it. <laughs> Why are all of the... Actually, no, never mind. Why are these what? No, 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 never mind. Okay. Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. Why? Oh, she can do that every day. How the fuck do you pronounce that name? Is it Ashley? Because there's an A and an E. I would go that you still pronounce it Ashley. The E is silent, huh? Just like I will be in a moment. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Ashley. It's Ashley, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but to be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants, and she knows it. I'll have a biscuit with her. You can tell someone is uh, wearing an outfit specifically so that they feel professional in it when they put a heart-shaped <laughs> boob cut out in it. That's to pour the love into the food you make. It's um, to support her skin's ability to breathe under the outfit. Yeah. It's to show the personality. Yeah, clearly. Of course. I would still have coffee with her, like long... What do you call them in English? Hook teeth? Fangs. Oh, long fangs are really sexy. What? Hook teeth. Oh, in Dutch you pronounce, or you literally translate it as hook teeth. You know, because they're the teeth in the corners. Hook teeth. Or corner teeth. Eckzähne, yeah, corner teeth mm -hmm. in German. I know. Anyway, heart shaped cleavage hole for ventilation. Chicken leg stockings. Oh, I didn't yes. even see that. That's slightly awkward. I don't know why. Wow. <laughs> Drumstick stockings. Hello, Ashley. Oh, I didn't see you there. Chicken shins. <laughs> Just the one with chicken stockings. Maybe one day I'll get to voice a character in this game too. Who knows? <laughs> oh, you want to be Ashley? No. Or medium? No. I want the line. Oh, you want this one? No. Yes. You leave eggy shins alone. They're perfectly normal shins. Uh, you can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. You know for a fact that's actually Ashley, but she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. Ah, see, called it that. is Ashley. Fucking called that. I've popped out of my eternal lurk and tell you that Ashley is extremely attractive. Shrift, <laughs> we agree. Hello, happy Super Bowl Sunday slash the day before Valentine's Day. How has school been? I hope you don't have too much homework. How are you doing? And do you have any Super Bowl things you're doing today? Everything he said. Yeah, but clearly I said them first, so I mean them more. <laughs> but yes, I agree. The only thing I can do without is the drumstick leggings that you now can't see. I'd eat her bucket of chicken. She can show us her drumstick. Wink, wink. <laughs> If anyone here knows what perfect shins look like, it's us. <laughs> look at them shins. <laughs> Shin stream confirmed. School has been... Mm. Wait, wait, Shrift, just for you, because I don't know if you were here in the beginning to hear that. <clears throat> School has been pretty nice for now, Ovo. I've sadly begun for so many dangling streams and I catch up on my own time eventually, Ovo. That's fine, <laughs> don't worry. There's always vaults. That is very true. And every Super Bowl we usually get chips with salsa and some wings to eat in the basement. Nice. Ooh, that sounds nice. Jack, what the fuck? It's fucking Valentine's Day stream, bitch. <laughs> Look at how cute he is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
touching the fingertips, but just the tips? Oh. Yeah, I never got that though. Like, what is? I don't know. What is the history behind that? I have no idea. Like, I need to look that up. I don't. I legitimately do not know. Like, even if I feel shy, I would never go like awkwardly. That's actually exactly what you awkwardly do all the time. <laughs> Hashtag just the tip. Um, maybe after the stream on Discord, I'll upload the audio from our soundtrack because it was wild. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna upload that. It would have to go in the not safe for work channel though. I was channeling the stream already, just saying. Downloaded Lost Ark yesterday, and that's all I've been thinking about playing. Well, it Are looks you enjoying very nice. it? Though? Are you enjoying it? Well, I don't think you started yet, have you? The game has been released. So, potentially, yes. Well, but through thinking about playing. From the advertisement I've seen of Lost Ark, it looks really nice. Yeah, graphically impressive. I've enjoyed the hour and 20 minutes I've played so far. Nice. Beth wants Jack to voice more female characters. I kind of agree. I don't think I could do it just as well. You like, can do the next one. I don't think I can do a good job. Yeah, but I'm not gonna do all 20 characters here. Fine, I'll voice the dog. And the ghost. <laughs> and the colonel. And the guy we saw in the beginning eating the bowl of rice. But I don't even know who's all gonna be in this. I guess the people we saw in the intro video. Cheers, Ranger. I'm gonna finish my drink and be uh, quite buzzed. Here's to you. But we're never gonna. We're not. Blah, 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 blah. We're not going to let you or your really weird insults get to us. I'm pretty sure there would be people who would pay Ashley to insult them. Yes. <clears throat> people that would, name. People would pay her to have her throw chicken nuggets at you. No, to watch her eat them. Even dumber. Or dead, yes. Oh, to, no, no, no. To step on chicken nuggets. That's also a thing I've learned. Also, in my idle time, I'm also gonna... Oh, you have a mini blap? Oh. Sorry, too sexy for Twitch. <laughs> Here we go. <clears throat> Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van, the man man has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. There's a character based on me. His pants are so tight you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. Van Van the Man Man, yes! I need to see this person. Um, um, Van Van? That's me, yeah, 100%. <laughs> Look at me, look at him. Look back at me, look back at him. Could you tell the difference? No, neither could I. Exactly, thank you. Where's the rest of his outfit? <clears throat> you rang, rang. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Jack has the 21st century Jesus hair, only difference. True. <clears throat> his hair though. Look at the star <clears throat> in it. <clears throat> You rang rang. Jack tried to say in the most deep manly voice he could muster right now. You've never been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have just been as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. Mm -hmm. I can't believe that University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would ever allow people like you to attend the students. I know, right? You think they just hand us our diplomas now? Or maybe hire us as professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. You should also do the cool. The half Georgia post one? No, with the Kumbin stuff. I don't have one. That's why they have red eyes. Yeah, true, all of them. Um, they are true. actually vampires. This is a Twilight spin-off and they all just ate. Just saying. With the first day of school about to start, there's just not time to properly tell these two off. So you resist the urge. <laughs> Let's go, Miriam. See you later, losers. 
Look at that Here's the token shoulder for this game. The sound effect keeps happening, it wasn't me, I swear. Okay. <laughs> Can I please say my line? No, quick. As you approach the door, you see a goofy looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. Mm. Boy, okay. am I happy this game is a free one. <laughs> Otherwise, this is the moment I stop the game and get a refund. <laughs> Oopsie. I think you should voice pop. <laughs> what? How do I voice pop? I think it's broken. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Ah, uh, that should do the trick. The little ghost was so cute. I love you. I think you mean thank you? My name is Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. <laughs> He's got yellow troll on his shirt. <laughs> that ain't spit though. <clears throat> Could someone like mm -hmm. this also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also his name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. <laughs> Pop. <laughs> yeah, that one hurt. Hi, Pop. I am Eggy, so. Are you going to make me hold this door all day? Why is he looking like that? No. And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. The little ghost is so cute, though. The reveal destroyed Jack's soul. Yeah, kind of it. Is it just me? Or is he kind of cute? It's just you. It's just you, Miriam. Yeah, I think it's also just you. I should have been the main character. Honestly, <clears throat> I love you, Colonel Sanders. Something, 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 something is a better visual novel than Persona or Dengon Rumpa by a mile. Yes. <laughs> Let's agree with that. Well, I haven't played Persona. I have. I, I hard agree on the Persona thing. I haven't played enough of this game yet to agree or disagree on the Danganronpa bit because Danganronpa is pretty good. Yeah, I think it all depends on what you expect out of your visual novel. So far, this game is exactly what I hoped it would be. <laughs> yeah. Everything is exactly as I hoped it would be. That being said, you both shrug <laughs> your shoulders sexually before following him into the building. Sexy shrugs. I can't even. <laughs> you stand at the edge of a room, unsure where to sit, as the students wander in and keep themselves busy chit chatting. If you're looking for a place to sit, why don't you take my lap? Ooh, that's pretty smooth. I know, right? That's me. That's my character. Even though he doesn't look like a corgi here, but like the fuck, it's like a deer, a super tiny deer looking thing with a long snout. What are those animals called? Jack. No, 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 like I, I see it. But I forgot the name Capybara. Capybara. No, is it Capybara I'm thinking yes. of? Oh, that could be, yeah. Capybara, the most chill animal on the planet. Yeah, but I'm also thinking of another animal, and it's very slim, walks on, uh, has hooves, four legs as well. Donkey. And kind of like, no, it's a tiny animal. Kind tapir. of also has like a, oh, tapir, I think that's it. They have longer noses. Wait, let me very quickly look at tapir. I came here for KFC and sexy dang gaming, but uh, Tifa now learns about animals. What? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just, Corgi is just not the first thing I see here. Mm. A scruffy looking pooch takes his place at a podium at the front of class. Adorable. I'm the teacher. Sprinkles. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I'm in bitches. <clears throat> now, now, quiet down everyone. Not a woof. 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 I don't need to bug, I'm an authority figure. Exactly. 
Who is this unreasonably cute pup and why is he in our culinary class? You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of UCSAL. You didn't save a column. Yeah. Wow. Please hmm. call me Professor Doc. I may be cute and little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Woof. Sprinkles Doc. What? A cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever. I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as you swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. I really hope the microphone picks all of us up, by the way. I'm kind of very husky whispery. <laughs> I'm chilly. Someone close the window. Pop looks like the kid that is eating crayon, licks glue, and always speaks loudly. Always. Well, he doesn't look like he should be here right now. I agree. And then he walks in. He immediately swept up on the hour of his new student and his remarkable goatee. He's a student. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. He is red handsome. It's him! It's... If it isn't my favorite student, Holland... Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog, before I can finish a sentence. You wanna do one? Please, call me Colonel. Yes, I am the narrator voice and the sexy colonel. Deal with it. <clears throat> colonel Sanders. I mean, I'm not gonna say too much, but he could give me commands. He can deep fry my chicken. <laughs> okay. <gasps> what, else, what else can we go with? Ralph Wiggum, yes, that's the energy for pop that I was thinking of. A hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. No wonder it's this hot in here. Sweat begins to beat across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. And this over here must be sweaty sweats a lot. Uh -huh. Maybe you should open the window back up before faucet pits melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. <laughs> Hold on just a second. Nobody talks to my friend like that. You two both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class. And what is with all your really weird insults? I dig them. Besides, when Eggy sweats, it's not gross, it's beautiful. Look at that shimmer. You take a moment to clean yourself up. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a good thing you didn't forget about that deodorant this morning. This classroom is hot, hot, hot. <laughs> Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and set some ground rules. Welcome to University of Cooking School Academy for learning the greatest culinary academy in the world. Also, isn't every university or school an academy for learning? It's a bit double, isn't it? I don't know. I would assume so. I don't know. I haven't even ever set foot into university, so <laughs> asking the wrong guy. Please everybody, teachers, are they? <laughs> the birthplace of culinary legends, past, present and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears, there will be blood, there might even be really adorable tiny food. Mm, tiny biscuits. Tiny biscuits. And tiny forks. And when all is said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sparks and compete in the broom cooking arena. 
Just then another student What? enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. Did they say rousing or arousing? You be the judge of that. <laughs> Ooh, tiny biscuits and tiny frogs peeking into them. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I really love my tiny biscuits and my tiny frogs. And I would totally share them with you. Tifa, I say this as a token of appreciation, but your biscuits are anything but tiny. <laughs> sure what to say to that. <laughs> <laughs> we interrupt this program with uh, technical difficulties. It was cold that day, okay? It was winter. <sighs> This is so bad. I'm a bit warm, actually. Want me to do him? No. <clears throat> wait. <clears throat> Give me something to drink. I'll do him. No, 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 wait, I got a one. He looks really bland, doesn't he? <clears throat> wow, how mean. In case you're wondering, yes, I need to do those head movements and faces with his voices, but otherwise I can't. Are you a mantis? That's how he's holding his hands. Oh yeah, true. No, this, this is for creepy Skinner walk. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss. It is the creepy Sims walk. Yes, exactly. <clears throat> Quiet. Huh? Late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue. You're on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? Oh, that looks like his fingers are broken. Yeah, he's doing the like, like somewhere between a pianist and someone playing with a ragdoll. Yeah. Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in the school with you as my teacher. Third year? I thought this is a three-day course. That's the point, Tifa. Okay. Thank you for explaining <laughs> the joke to everybody. She means well. Everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. This Corgi had enough of your shit. Let that lesson... Blah, blah, blah. Let that be a lesson to your students that tardiness is unacceptable. He looks so cute here. Like you just want to give him some belly rubbings. Yeah, like he's trying to look mad, but he's just looking cute. Nee. Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. You turn to see the student sprinkles as referencing who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. 1069, I've tried to beat Red Dead Redemption. I thought you already finished it. T Kelly says I can't leave till she's done. Godspeed, <laughs> good luck. What he said, have a great Super Bowl later, because I'm quite yes. sure you're gonna watch, and a good Sunday. And a beautiful Valentine's Day. And Jack says hi to Kelly. Yes, but only Jack. <laughs> Frody, thank you for that clip. <laughs> thank you. I'm gonna be Clank. I thought I'm gonna be Clank. Oh, I thought you said I'm not gonna be Clank. I said I'm a be Clank. Oh god. Wow. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> The class bursts into laughter. Ha ha ha, look at the weird student. What is that though? Oh, Clank, you rascal. You want proof that America is better than Europe? <laughs> That's robophobic. America has won 47 Super Bowls. How many has Europe won? <laughs> why, do you, why do you put the asterisk in Europe though? That's a good question. <laughs> I only notice now. I thought it was a typo first, but... I'm looking at the keyboard trying to understand. What? <laughs> exactly. We're better. Yes. I 
am the first one to admit that America is better at Super Bowls than Europe. Yeah. I'm censoring in case anyone is traumatized by the British. <laughs> I love how Schrift knows I'm German and you're Dutch and like our ancestors have done enough evil shit <laughs> but it's the British where he draws the line. Well yeah, he knows Benjamin's gonna. True, 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 true. This is a British friendly channel, don't worry. <clears throat> and for robots, even yes. though I'm still not sure, it's like an oven combi and what's it's the turning an everything. thing? I'm sorry, are you reducing him to his looks? That's fucking robophobic. I'm just trying to find out, like, what's it for? Is like, a, what do you call it, a Wait. meat mill? A meat grinder, I think? Meat grinder? Fleischwolf, or... meaning meat wolf in German. I don't know why. Wait, are you reducing him to his appearance? That is the definition of robophobia. Or a sausage maker. Meat goes in, sausage comes out. <laughs> That's what she said. Y'all are fine, but the British are not welcome in my home. How many British people do you have in your area? <laughs> Meat Wolf is my stripper name. <laughs> Meat Wolf is also a great euphemism for... Anyway, carrying on. <clears throat> oh, Clank, you rascal. Sprinkles walks in the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose in the air and takes a... Deep sniff. I'm sorry, I've never been sniffed by a teacher. I think is that it, ain't good. Is it suddenly okay because he's a dog? That's a good question, Tifa. What is he more? Is he more teacher and CEO? Because why the fuck not? Dog bosses, am I right? Um, or is he more teacher? Because I think if teacher, then inappropriate. If dog, then okay. Sniff me, senpai. Not while the camera is rolling. <laughs> I know what I'm doing after the stream. <laughs> you started it. You fucking started it. Don't give me openings like this. That's what he said. My chemistry teacher is British and I don't like chemistry class. Coincidence? I, I think, think not. not. <laughs> Time for a tangent about the importance of teachers to a student's liking a class or not. It's a thing. Hmm? <laughs> Sprinkles is savage. <clears throat> what's Sprinkles? What's Sprinkles sniffing here exactly? I don't want to know what part of he, he is smelling that he can smell your diet. <sighs> I didn't know this game was this kinky, I'm sorry. If any kids are watching, please leave. Come back when you're 18. <laughs> He's crying. Oh, actually, no, come back. You haven't left it anyway because who can teach kids what to do anyway, right? Ask your parents what is happening. Tell your parents you're watching this on the internet right now, unsupervised, and they should tell you why this is happening. Hmm, your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. I've never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkle's reputation for being smart but tough is well known. Never have I ever. Ooh. You decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket. But what kind? Ooh, okay. Beef treat, rubber ball, or chicken snack? I would go for chicken snack. I agree. You reach beneath your apron and return with a chicken snack in your hand. Sprinkle's eyes go wide as he locks onto it. Where the fuck did you just get that chicken snack from? Because it was under your apron. My secret lady pouch. I believe I have heard people tell me stories of them being told by friends of their siblings that they have seen videos on the internet detailing exactly how this happens. I'm suddenly remembered of a story Beth once told. Yes, same, but 
except it's not about smuggling <laughs> things past TSA this time. It's about food. <laughs> yes, Beth, I remember. <clears throat> oh, I remember too. Man, this is against health code. Yes. Why do you have chicken under your apron? We don't judge. That's my a good braces question. tighten first and I'm doing great except for that one tooth it hurts and I can't eat on that side of my mouth anymore. Uh, I hate it when uh, braces get tightened. Yeah. You got this. Hope it loses or like untension soon. I might be one of a few people in the world but I also liked that because after the first couple hours of it hurting like fuck there was this weird sensation of like a pull on your teeth. No, that was not nice. Kind of the same feeling like when you had a tooth pulled out as a kid or you lost one and your tongue went into the place where the tooth was. Am I the only one? No, that I did like, but the tightening thing, no. I kind of know what you mean. Shrift, fist bump. Now give Sprinkles his chicken snack. His favorite. Yes. Well, 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 I think there might be some competition for new star student. He takes bribes. I'm sorry, but uh, he's the kind of person that sniffs you that much that he can tell you vitamin levels. I don't know where his nose went. To be fair though, that is extremely handy. Yes, I agree. Maybe he is like a play on those service animals that can smell when people have like a seizure coming up. Which is fucking amazing. Service yes. animals are insane in a great way. And I mean it positively. In a way he is too. Like he yeah. provides service by being a teacher. But he couldn't tell you a chicken on you. Yeah, because it was um, tucked away. <laughs> we probably didn't have it on us, but in us. Yes, in the pocket, under the apron. Mm -hmm. Let's carry on before we get banned. <laughs> the furry professor immediately devours the snack, leaving your hand slick with a coating of warm doggy drool. Uh, what the fuck did I just read <laughs> out in that voice? <laughs> I swear to Christ, if I ever find somebody, make a really fucking disturbing video game with voiceovers from what I just fucking read out. I'm gonna fucking sue you. <laughs> no. You see the other students eyeing you jealously, but pay no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. No wonder we are where we are. I never had that. Krispy Kreme's UK's official Twitter account posted the pictures of beans on their donuts literally four days ago. Even corporate companies believe in British slander. Why the fuck would you put beans on donuts? That's well, disgusting. Well, it depends on the kind of beans. Like red bean buns are really good. And I can imagine it also works with donut filling or with the donut dough. I like your buns. <laughs> I keep catching you on the on the ground so you can't react, huh? <laughs> That's just how smooth I am. I was not prepared for this. Can see it on your servant memes channel. Thank you. I've never been more repulsed by a donut in my life. It sounds yeah. like I'd still eat it. Fair is fair. But I'm gonna That's what she later. said, by the way. What? Donuts are good. It looks like I'd still eat. Settle down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds opened to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of a room. Only two options remain. Eggy, there's still a seat here. Hmm. It seems that no one has claimed the seat next to me, if you're interested. I'm sorry, Miriam, but I know you for my whole life. There's only one right We're choice. We're gonna sit with Colonel Chicken Bun. Colonel? Colonel. I know English is weird, but Colonel. <laughs> Fine, Colonel. You move to take your seat by Colonel Sanders. It appears he brought no books, pens, 
or pencils. However, his perfect upright posture shows off a seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. Can we talk about the pen that's sticking out of his pocket? Though? Shut the fuck up! No, nobody looks at the screen and sees that he has a pen literally on his arm. Everyone sees that, it's even a different color. Colin old chicken bun, is that what I heard? <laughs> Maybe. Carrying on. Maybe. Who said who pronounces that as Colonel? Everybody but you. Yeah, apparently. Mm -hmm. Thanks for offering me the seat. I've only had two rules. Do all you can and do it the best you can. Waka waka. Hey. It's the only way you ever get that feeling of accomplishing something. He has tears in his eyes. Of course. That's so inspiring. <laughs> uh -huh. A little off topic if you topic. <laughs> Food, alright. A little off topic if you ask me, but okay. As soon as you settled into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. What's it gonna be? Think fast. It's time for a pop quiz. I knew it. <laughs> I kn Yay. He's been silent for too long. A quiz about me. This incredibly important and surprisingly short quiz will tell you if you are ready for life at culinary school. It's gonna be one question. Keep your knives sharp and your focus sharper. Oh. Here comes question hashtag one. Wait, wait, wait. You should have saved first. There's no saving button. Okay. There is no saving button, Tifa. Okay, we're gonna get fucked. Okay. Just don't fuck up. If train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? <laughs> Thank you for that clip. It happened. What happened? Okay, if train A travels to point B and then B is going to A and they cross and you have cross examination and then you cross should... contamination. Is that what it's called? Okay. Yes. Cross examination is what happens in court. That but, clip, yeah. she said it. <laughs> Thank you very much. I seriously thought you pronounced colonel as colonel and not colonel. Yes, it's about um, old anuses, basically. Mm -hmm. what? That, hence the title. Because traditionally, uh, historically speaking, colonels were generally older men, also known as old asses. And so clearly they went from that old ass person to um, Colin Ol. about colonel. I thought you were stuck on the colonel. Same to be honest. I was making up a whole background like lore. <laughs> it's the chicken bun. Who doesn't have chicken buns? Now Tifa, are we gonna go with memes or are we gonna go with the right answer? We're gonna go with extremely looking at you. That's right. What's wrong with chicken bun? Oh. Forest Nothing. is to tree. That's my line. Oh. <laughs> Forest is to tree as chicken is to a slam dunk. Night fishing goggles. Tifa, quick, sing the Space Jam song. I don't know the lyrics. It's the Space da, Jam da, song. Da, 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 da. Space Jam. Da, da, da. Something, something, something. I something. seriously have no clue. Shame they never made a sequel. Favors. Where did you get that? Isn't he? Oh, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> Favors. Yes, feathers. Actually, that doesn't make sense. Well, yes. Forest is the tree, as chicken is the feather. You first have the big thing, and then you have the small thing. And a feather is a part of a chicken as much as a tree is a part of a forest. That's right. What is the most efficient eating utensil ever created? The mouth. Mm, a comically oversized fork. What should I imagine with that? A comically oversized fork. That because seems very efficient. No, it's a spork. They literally said that earlier. Bam. That's right. 
I've never eaten with a spork. I have. And I wish I have one. I you have used one together with me. What when? Um, we went to some restaurant many, many, many years ago, and instead of normal cutlery, they had um, cardboard knives and cardboard sporks. Not like cardboard, oh, cardboard, but like really pressed, like like paper utensils. Oh, that could be now that you mention it. My brain is destroyed by chicken, but <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Funny, you still be. <laughs> on that n on that note, what food is best for a broken heart? Anything as long as it's prepared with love and not too much salt. Camel mm. meat. Do you have camel meat laying around, Fody? A pancake that looks like a silly face. I want to say the first thing. Yeah, I would say that a, a pancake. pancake with a silly face falls under something prepared with lots of love. Though. Wait, what did you pick? The pancake. What were you? That's wrong. We know it's the first option. Is Sprinkles a good boy? He's the best boy. <laughs> That's right. Your total score is four out of five. We are not ready for school. Should have been six out of T9. We're gonna game over. Only one wrong, not too shabby. You might just do a right, kid. Okay. You look up to see that Colonel Sanders has been watching you tally your score. He nods with approval. The sexy slow nod one. Stay alive, Fody. <laughs> May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch. That wow. is important. Oh, this looks nice. Yes, and a perfect segue for a short break. Be right back. PRP. My hand is sticky. I played around with my noodle too much. In case you're wondering, uh, we had spaghetti for dinner and I put the leftovers away and I used my hand and a fork and starch. <clears throat> what did you think about? Anyway, <clears throat> what were you thinking? Wow. <laughs> Excuse me? Did you put the leftovers in the fridge? No, I didn't fucking think so. I was gonna do so. it after stream, but sure. You were gonna handle my noodles after stream? <laughs> One sec, recharging. I was not prepared for this game at all. I was. Wow, the cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. Talking about eating out, huh? It makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking would also be serious about eating. It does actually, yeah. The cafeteria doesn't look that nice though. On that note, a delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Fody, have fun with Evie playing Mario Party. Yes. Good luck. Hope the NPC doesn't win. Good luck. <laughs> Getting your sentences out faster than that. <laughs> and have an amazing rest of your Sunday. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I say that too. And same to you, of course, Evie. <laughs> this game is getting kinky right now. It is. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you smell that? That must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. <laughs> Love you too. Oh, wafting smells. <laughs> Fuck, how did I do his voice? Uh, uh, it's been like 13 minutes and I don't remember. <laughs> Me lurking, thank you so much for the love. Thank lurk. you very much. Have a great Valentine's Day as well. I don't think and you'll Super watch Bowl. the Super Bowl. Anyway. So just have an awesome Sunday. Yes. <laughs> Everyone, can I have your attention? Is it about lunch? No, I just wanted to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was... Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Yeah, you can announce everything. Hey, I was... It's about lunch. Everyone cheers. Lunch! But I... Shh! Lunch, lunch, lunch! She said shh! In honor 
of a new semester, I've prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. That must be the smell I smelled. Indeed, that smell. <laughs> this can be taken out of context very easily. You hold your breath, waiting to see what food this mysterious student has created. You've heard that he's very talented, but were the rumors true? I didn't think he was an actual student in this game, by the way. Is this. <laughs> Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. Its contents glimmer in the light. Ta da da da! Zelda. That looks perfect. Yeah. Piled high are huge pieces of chicken, breaded and fried to a crispy golden finish. Mm -hmm. The aroma envelops you and you begin to feel warm and safe. <laughs> Imagine all of these feelings by a bucket of fried chicken. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with semen with chicken. <laughs> <laughs> what a novel concept. Are we gonna find a My Little Pony in it? Uh, no, it's not a jar. They need to be airtight. Oh, okay. If you okay. don't know what we're talking about, good. Keep good it that for you. way. Keep it that way. Don't, don't ever Google My Little Pony and jar together in the same Google search. Don't ever do that. Your stomach begins to grumble as if to say, stop thinking and start eating. For years, I've been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. By my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. You look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and are scribbling notes as fast as they can. Is it really 11? 11. I think so. <laughs> what are we gonna write down, 11? They're just gonna mi randomly question. mix spices and herbs until they reach 11 and hope they get it. But that's all I say about that. Even How's that annoying... voice? He looks exactly like an old colleague of mine, and I think you know who I mean. Who? Van Van? Sander, Sanders. Especially when he has this look. Your, your colleague was. Or is, he's still around. Um, not a bad looking dude, but he doesn't have the triangle frame that just tells you, I'm here for your pleasure. <laughs> no, but I, I can't he's see it. He's more lanky. I can't see it though. Uh, just in the face, don't look at the rest of the body. <laughs> spit it out. <laughs> Sorry, can I have that line again? What? I can oh. see the grinds. <laughs> the gears grinding. Oh my god. Oh, that was not on purpose. I meant what no. I said. <laughs> yeah, oh, you meant what you said. Okay. Good to know. Let me write that down for later. It might come in handy to know this. <laughs> Go do your line. This is that kind of stream. How do I do Van Van? <clears throat> Just do something. Should I give him a German accent now? <laughs> Go ahead. What you think? We want your stupid recipe, dude? Pshaw! Nah, my dude, nah. I'm just uh, drafting a last one testament in case uh, one of those ingredients is uh, a poison. Got him! <laughs> The fuck is wrong with that dude? <laughs> I think he is uh, suffering from lack of oxygen while working out. I'm not saying that every muscular person is dumb. I'm saying this guy is. He looks around nervously to see if anyone else is laughing at his sick burn. You wait to see what zinger Ashley has prepared to follow up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. How can you not see that and not want to eat it? Ashley? <laughs> yeah, and I was just like writing in my diary. Dear diary, 
Today I smelled something beautiful and I knew at that moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. Is she gonna ask Colonel Sanders to fry her chicken for her? You see her body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she slides closer to Colonel Sanders. She realizes that he is destined for greatness and fame with cooking skills like this. She wants him all to herself. Mm. Can't blame her. Mm. Oh, please. Mm. What? Well, Van Van, the man man, if you don't want any. Who came up with this name? <laughs> I'll take this. Whoa, hold on. I mean, I guess I'll try it. Mm, fried chicken. He takes one bite and his eyes grow wide. He starts contorting his face as he tries to hold in his pure exhilaration and acts unimpressed. Easy now, there's enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. I, um, I think I've seen a screenshot of that exact line from um, an adult movie once. <laughs> That's how it starts, right? No, it's uh, near the middle, <clears throat> where the action happens. You take one of those pieces of fried chicken out of his bucket and sink your teeth into it. Carefully, though. It's amazing. Theoretical teeth. It depends on what you do with them. Fair. Oh. Okay, suddenly we're in space. Tasting Colonel Sanders' food transports you to another dimension. Kinda looks like a big eye. Alone with your taste buds, gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. Um, I think swimming towards mm. light is a bad idea in any situation. I think we're gonna die there. Mm -hmm. Focus your mind and meditate. Savor the moment and everything that it tells you about Colonel Sanders' culinary heart. Okay, it's gonna be one of the two. I think one is cooking, two is love, three is bad ending. Do we want love or do we want cooking, Tifa? We want love. So, this one. Yeah, go for it. The flavors in your mouth are beautiful, pure, heavenly. Mm, what a guy. Alone with the flavors, you feel something that can only be described as love for man, for flavor. Are they the same? <laughs> After tasting his food, you try to get some one-on-one -on -one time with Colonel Sanders. Okay. Let's approach him. Colonel Sanders smiles ever so softly as you approach. He stops what he's doing and allows, or who he's doing, and allows <laughs> you to break the silence. Colonel, I've wondered if I could talk to you for a second. Oh, anything. Or anything for a fellow chef what exactly was on that chicken oh he doesn't like that question <laughs> how bold to come out and ask it's an idea i had for a new combination of flavors that will take me that will make me blah, 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 blah. it's an idea i had for a new combination of flavors that will make me my fortune and establish my legacy for all times as i open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants oh, no why do i deal. get a chicken staff like that i was gonna say the same thing Look at that it. is adorable and i want one right now damn that is so cute yes if i had a walking staff i would take this one or if i could pick one um, question, Tifa. Um, when you hold the thing with a cock, do you want it to be more stiff or flexible? <laughs> of course, you have to go there. There's a super cute chicken stick. I'm sorry, first of all, he's holding it near the tip, which... Okay. And I mean, it even helps him walk. Well, yeah, it's a big leg. <laughs> It's just, oh wait, that's you. It's just you and me here talking. I can keep it secret. In fact, I've got some of my own that I'd be willing to trade. You wanna find out the secret of my drumstick? Your chicken balls. <laughs> What's that sauce? 
almost. <laughs> What's the rush? The semester's only getting started. We've got two more whole days to get to know each other. He's clearly not going to give it up easily, but it doesn't hurt to be persistent. Are we gonna walk away with the Kentucky Fried Chicken recipe? I think we're gonna walk away either with our heart broken or our stomach filled. <laughs> or both. Those are not mutually exclusive. That is very true. Well, love goes through the belly. Mm. You know what they say about secrets, Colonel? Or Colonel, sorry. <laughs> Colonel Al. He's, 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 he's the little known cousin of Superman, Carl L. Colin L. <laughs> it's confusing because in Dutch you do say it like that. Colin L. Colin L. For real? Yeah. Get the fuck out. Keep going. Shouldn't learning be fun? <laughs> you wanna have some fun with me? Oh. 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 You've got moxie. I'll give you that. What's a moxie? Uh, spunk. Oh, okay. Also, hello tea. Oh, thank you for the cookie. Happy Super Bowl slash almost Valentine's Day. <laughs> How are you doing, too? If you feel weirded out, welcome. I'm <laughs> uncomfortable already. In a good way or a bad way? Because either way, I'll take it. Oh, this game is so good. Have you played it before? It's really funny. Yes, I can recommend. So far, I can recommend this to everybody. Wait, is this KFC? Yes. Yes, it is. This is. I love you, Colonel Sanders. A finger licking good dating simulator. It's free. We're trying to get Colonel Sanders to tell him the secret of his chicken drumstick. Oh, mm -hmm. and we're trying really hard to taste everything in his bucket. Mm? <laughs> What the fuck is going on? Um, I'm I'm drunk, and uh, this is the Valentine's Day stream for this year. So, yeah, we're a day early. We're leaning all in. Someone help. <laughs> Mindy, SOS. How are you doing? I can really recommend playing this game so far, though. Like I would say it gets better if you play it the way we do when you crank it up to eleven. Well, I'm not sure. Case in point, <clears throat> Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone. Sexily. And then leans in. You can feel his warm breath as he whispers. Just one. No. <laughs> just one ingredient that you can't tell. I use. Mm, it's something my great grandmother taught me. This is fucked up shit now. I'm sorry, the dog sniffing us was one thing. <laughs> us getting the chicken flavor treat from under our apron. Okay, getting kind What's of that? to the line for me, but it's something my great grandmother taught me. So, you're the one that's bringing it there. No, they wrote that. <laughs> yes. I did not make this game. I'm reading the text that is there. No. Yes. About to make some food and play Skyrim, but Colonel Sanders oh, nice. will have to wait. Colonel What's for lunch today? Tea. Colonel Sanders is always there with you. Right there. Wow, you'd never have guessed that. In fact, you're not even sure where you'd get some of you if you searched. Smoothie sure wants to blend us out of a dishwasher. I wouldn't mind a smoothie right now, but uh, this um, hard mixed long drink will have to do fine with me too. Don't forget to add some fried chicken to that. Tea is a vegetarian. Don't add fried chicken. Add fried mock chicken, if anything. True. Actually, not in this movie. I don't think that's going to happen. It's going to be absolutely disgusting. I have made one in forever. I hope it comes out. What you all going to throw in? Can't really go wrong with this movie. Usually. Yes, you can. Really? Yes. But with a fruit smoothie, you can't really go that wrong. You can make smoothies that are not nice. It That can oh, be done. Fair. 
get vegetarian corn dogs at the store just now, but I will not be putting yeah. them in the store. I, I haven't had a vegetarian corn dog, but yeah. I've Elm never even milk? had a corn dog. True. <laughs> Maybe after a stream. <laughs> Wanna share your corn dog with us? Almond milk, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, peanut butter. Ooh, that sounds Ooh, nice. nice. Make me one. I, if you're doubting between yogurt and ice, I would add like a tablespoon of yogurt. Yeah. I think that could work out really nice to make it a bit thicker. I'm not a fan of ice in my smoothies because that makes them too cold. Usually all the stuff mm -hmm. we have in the fridge anyway, and that's like cold enough for me. Um, I would say if you're unsure, make it with the other ingredients first and then separate a little bit of it, mix a tiny bit of yogurt in it and try that. And then next time either add more or leave it up. Mm. That oh, way I if really you don't like... like it, you don't spoil the whole batch. That is true, but I really like yogurt in my smoothies. Mm. Well, you're wrapped up in that huge revelation. You notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared. While everyone else is still in the cafeteria, you decide to look for him. You find Colonel Sanders standing outside. Standing in the squad. The I'm guessing that's well where we are now. Oh, it's you again. Howdy. Sometimes I like to come outside and look at some school buildings. I think about how my story will continue on even after I've graduated. Well, good thing it's two more days. Three more days. Yeah. It's a three-day course, so... It sounds like you have big plans. I dare say, the biggest. <laughs> I will leave my mark on this world. Mm -hmm. Money shot. <clears throat> you can bet on that. Well, for sure. Oh. Alone together for the first time, you figure now is the perfect moment to show your personality to him. My personality, huh? Wow him with a big idea. It's the second one. Trial and error, good idea. Oh, and banana. Banana Ooh. and peanut butter goes surprisingly well. I never believed that until I tried it. It really does. We sometimes make like a oat banana breakfast thing with peanut butter. So good. Yes. Okay, yes, but would he see this as interfering? No. I'm sorry, Colonel Sanders is not deterred by people having strong opinions and wanting to spice things up. I think he would dabble occasionally. Also, spicy items are a thing at KFC. Yeah, that's true. Okay, go for it. Go for it. Pick Ooh, it. Hello, Fabulous. How are you doing? Welcome <laughs> to the totally not awkward Valentine's Day slash Super Bowl shelter stream. Ooh, how are you doing? <laughs> How are you two? Like that. What he said, but I was too shy to say it first. It's okay, Tifa. Fabulous <laughs> is really nice. You can be yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ah. Uh, how are you doing, Fabulous? Well, that made me a hell of a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're welcome. <laughs> This is, at the, at the same time, the best and the worst stream we've ever done, I feel. Yes. <clears throat> this will never see the rest of the life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is going straight to YouTube. Alright, let's make it spicy. <clears throat> you know about that? I was thinking about your secret recipe. I don't doubt it. It has a way of leaving an impression on all who taste it. You decide to show him that you also know a thing or two about blowing minds with new flavors. And not just minds, mind you. Mm -hmm. I actually had some thoughts on how you could improve it. Improve it? You want to change my secret recipe? And you think you can do better? Have you ever heard of habanero peppers? <gasps> heard of them? I tan an entire garden of chili pepper varieties. Habanero, poblano, cayenne. But that's not the point. You can't just toss new ingredients into my secret recipe and expect to improve it. After eight hours with my mom, this is what I needed. Oh, that sounds like a long day. But now you can chillax, yes. have a smoke, watch super sexy Colonel Sanders. Yes. <clears throat> Trying to get into Sherry's drumsticks with us. 
He can deep for me. <laughs> a recipe is about balance. It involves careful consideration and refinement. I didn't mean to. Let this be the last time you improvise on my recipes, Aggie. I'm headed back to class for the next lesson. See, I told you you wouldn't like it. Fuck him. I mean, we're trying to, but I mean, metaphorically speaking, that certainly didn't go as planned. <laughs> At least we didn't came over now. <laughs> True. You'd better head back inside, but you wait a moment so that Colonel Sanders doesn't think you're desperately chasing after him. But we are. Ooh, this looks nice. You step into the massive cooking area, arena even, where the afternoon lessons will take place. Each student gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they could need to make it hot. <laughs> Look at this place, it's magnificent. Finally we get to show our stuff. Oh? You want to see my stuff? <laughs> okay. Wait a second. Oh no! We have to show our stuff. What if I totally blow it? Well, Miriam, I think you totally blowing it is part of a deal, but what do I know? You're not going to blow anything. <laughs> except maybe kisses to the crowds of fans you're going to earn with your signature adorable tiny few food creature creations. I thought creatures. Food creatures? <laughs> That's the fuck I, kind of game is this? That's what I thought you said. Uh, they were excellent. Eight hours of criticism, awkwardness, being a daughter. And baking, where I accidentally broke her electric mixer. Well, that's karma for Oof. her. Yeah, true. Um, I'm not saying you caused that, I'm saying karma did. Me? Yeah. Were you making some treats with her mixer? I'm guessing you were making Super Bowl snacks? Presum presuming, yes. <clears throat> Talking about treats, Sprinkles has showed up. <clears throat> Welcome, students, to the cooking arena. Yes. So For today's good. lesson, we'll be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair off. Naturally, Miriam looks over at you, but unable to control yourself, you pounce on Colonel Sanders. Hey, Colonel. C Colonel. Colonel. I keep Tifa. wanting to say Colonel. Colonel. Oh my God. A gorgy chef. Hope you, Hope like, you like furniture food well, T. It's the flavor. Not only that, but uh, I guess the character in this game doesn't mind some hair in their teeth occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to tackle this lesson as a team? A team of two, that is. Me and you, if that wasn't clear. <laughs> I feel like the entire stream is sexual harassment. <laughs> Wanna be my partner? Oh. Sure, Eggie. I'll prepare our station. You can prepare my station. <laughs> That's what he calls a <laughs> sex dungeon. You know it. <laughs> Without you as a partner, Miriam is left standing all alone. Two different students quickly take notice. Oh, two even. So, can we still talk about what this kind of oven thing is? Uh, did you just call him a thing? That's robophobic. Stop that. I'm gonna end this. <laughs> or someone more equipped to deal with. Whatever this is. Uru T. <laughs> Make sure that person is equipped to deal with our fried chicken. Yeah. <clears throat> Hello, new partner. Uh, I can do without puff. <laughs> Beep boop. Oh my, two potential partners? I'm so sorry, gentlemen, but I don't know who to choose. Well, Miriam, if you ask me, you don't have to choose. You can just maybe take on both of them at the same time. They knew what they were doing writing this game. You can't tell me otherwise. <laughs> it looks like you'll have to pick for her. Now that's a kink I haven't heard of. Friend duties can be a little awkward, but that's the price you pay for not being alone forever. Okay, seriously though, who would we even team her up with? Pop? 
which I wouldn't think so. No. But the other, yes. he doesn't, also, he doesn't yes. even speak. I don't give a fuck, it's not Bob. Sorry, Pop. Yeah, okay, fair. Go for Mr. Evan. Who do you want to ask to be Miriam's partner? Clank. Oh, Clank. Clank. Look at his face. Sorry, Pop, Wait. but I think Miriam will be partnering with Clank today. Just for you, because I love you and I've been punishing you enough with listening to my sexy, sultry voice and saying these things. This is my Clank face like this. Accurate? Oh wait, it, it, the mouth is different. <laughs> this is me mixing ingredients apparently. It's okay, I already ate. Of course you did, Pop. <clears throat> It's not entirely clear if Pop has any idea what the point of school even is at this juncture. Clank is clearly excited to have some attention. He heats up and begins to roll back and forth. What? How does he even roll? Clank is an animal, I tell you. <laughs> warp, warp, warp. Well, go that, warp somewhere else. That's when you know it's good. Premature in this case, but... Hold on there, fella. We don't even know what the assignment is yet. Technically, Clank might not have a face, but there's something charming and earnest about him. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, but <laughs> there is a face. That's something people have said about me in the past, so I'll take it as a compliment. <laughs> wheels is how you roll, Tifa. True. That is true, but I'm not even sure if he has wheels. Bzzzt. Say it, Tifa. Say it. <laughs> Looks like Clank got a bit excited and didn't just roll around, huh? Tissue! I hardly know you! <laughs> Clank judders and the panel shakes loose. You get the impression that this is a sign of affection. Yeah, I think he's done. Hey, um, Corgi teacher, can we have like 15 minutes for him to recuperate because I think he needs a short break? It's okay, Clank. It happens to the best of us. Yep. Uh, looks like you two will be fine. <laughs> Legit. Now it's time to focus on your own cooking classwork. Alright, you two, for today's lesson we're going to keep it simple. Pick a basic dish and divide up the steps. No chef is an island. It takes two flints to make a fire, you get the idea. Which dish do you suggest to your partner, Colonel Sanders? Can we get a 69-piece chicken nugget menu, please? Okay, hmm? what are we gonna make? A steak tartare. Fancy, no need to cook it. <laughs> Using octopus. <laughs> <laughs> to blow his mind, we could have some tentacle action in there. Please, read the last one. Or your grandmother's mashed potatoes and gravy. Okay, we are going for the mashed potatoes and gravies because I also think that his that grandmothers have a sweet spot for Colonel Sanders. Yes. Everybody has a sweet spot for that, dude. So go for it. How is he balancing those little glasses on his dog face? Because he is adorable. He's a corgi. All corgis are awesome. It's probably stuck to him. Yeah, go for the mashed potatoes. I'm, I mean, I'm into this guy, but I'm not quite sure if I want to bring out my grandmother's anyway. Colin, Colonel, do you want to add your gravy to my mashed potatoes? Pillowy mounds of mashed potatoes waiting for you to spread your gravy over them. <laughs> I disagree, my roommate just moved out of her corgi and I do not miss the constant barking. That's not the corgi's fault, that's a badly raised dog. The best thing though is a horgi. They yes. are so cute. That's a husky corgi mix for those yes. of you thinking impure thoughts. It's something that shouldn't be if you ask me, but it is so cute. Yeah, they look adorable. I've always been something of a down-home chef. I was thinking we could make something warm, inviting, and comforting. 
Maybe mash my pota- mashed potatoes. And gravy. I was rejected by Mr. Sanders. Oof. Oh, I think we're gonna be re- rejected too. Oh, hello, Nando. Hello, hello, and welcome <laughs> to the uh, Super Bowl slash early Valentine's Day stream. Thank you for joining us today. Hmm? And on a side note, we would never reject you. How are you doing, Nando? Oh, I made myself cry. Here. Ew. And now you can be wet. <laughs> I see your Sunday coming along. <clears throat> That's your line, by the way. I couldn't imagine your gravy without my mashed potatoes. Colonel Sanders casts a coy look at you, causing your whole face to go beet red. Embarrassed, you quickly turn away. But only your face, of course. (laughs) I'll go get the potatoes. (laughs) Go on, then. Peel my spots. No, please, let me. Picking perfect produce is a passion of mine. Looks like things are getting fresh around here. Does someone have a crush on Colonel Sanders? Colonel Sanders. Oh my god, why can't I say this? We're just cooking partners. Mind your own business. Bitch! Sanders' heart is my business. And you better keep your fingers off of my man. Did someone call for me? Ooh, this music suddenly. That rival chick is I'm super in. thick. I'm yes. in. I don't know, I think Jack can win over Sanders. Thank you, fabulous. I feel confident in my abilities, if you know what I mean. Oh, this is lit. Can we talk about this fucking banger playing right now? We can stay on the screen. But where did it come from now? Uh, it's called background music, Tifa. Video games traditionally have this. Yeah, but I feel like this is very ra- random transition. Does it have lyrics? No, it just almost sounds like that. Yeah, they're not lyrics. This is amazing. Holy shit. But we must carry on because that is fun to be had. Uh, no, jeez, Van Van. Well, I'm over here crushing Aggie's dreams. You're supposed to be taking care of her classwork. That was the deal, remember? Colonel Sanders returns, arms full of peeled potatoes. He tosses them into boiling water and turns his attention to you and your old friends. Oh, howdy there, Ashley. Van Van. Are we working in a quartet instead of a duet now. I guess it's time for a foursome, huh? Uh. Actually, no. It looked like Aggie was struggling, so we offered to give them a hand. Shall I give you a hand? Maybe after stream. You know how it is. These young amateur chefs need a lot of mentoring. I was going to say, Colonel Sanders, maybe we could also teach you a thing or two about fancy food. Maybe one day you might be able to get up to my level. Ha! Doubt it. Don't be rude, Van Van. Personally, I have no doubts whatsoever about Colonel Sanders' ability to con- concoct creation. <laughs> she said cock. <laughs> Worthy of administration or admiration. After all, your fried chicken was quite spectacular. But, Colonel, if you ask me, I might make a better partner for you than this thing that has positioned itself at your station. Bitch better check herself. I'm gonna throw hands. Don't you feel, deep down, that we cast complementary shadows? We fit together like a tie and a drumstick. It just makes sense. No, like something else. Wink, wink. You want to add your drumstick to my tie? Nothing above this makes any sense, but one thing is clear. She's coming for Colonel if you don't watch out. Ashley is really going at you hard. Mm-hmm. You need to ask for some backup here before things get ugly. So. Well, we're going for Sanders, of course. 
Yeah, but do we call in backup from Miriam or do we tell our man over here that uh, there's clearly only one for him and that's us? Because all the other basic bitches need to get some space. Go to the colonel. I think if we go to Miriam, she's gonna walk off with him. So, Colonel Sanders? Yeah. Jack has the abilities to win his heart. <laughs> I think so too. I'm here to learn and to express myself via my cuisine. Not bicker with prima donnas. Bitch. Partners were chosen at the beginning of class, so let's all respect the format, okay? And then the Z snap. <laughs> exactly, but do that mirrored because they see us mirrored. <laughs> What's the Z move? <laughs> Do Don't get between Jack and this man just waiting for the side snaps. Yeah, there you go. You turn to Colonel Sanders to confirm that you are on the same page. I chose Colonel Sanders and Sanders chose me, isn't that right? Sometimes conflict can actually build character. I wouldn't want you to shy away from a bit of healthy competition with our peers, Aggie. Wow. wow. Is he just not that into you? You'd think a gentleman would offend you in a situation like this. Did you do something to offend him at some point? I wonder though how you get the perfect ending. I need to look that up after we're through because he's gonna reject us. If this is sure. going where I think it's going, then all I can say is he was not the man I fell in love with or I crushed on. Because all we did so far that he didn't like was that we offered constructive criticism and he didn't take that very well and i'm very sorry that this so-called colonel sanders isn't confident enough to own up to the fact that other people might have opinions that could actually be helpful maybe he wants to mature a little bit before he can get all of this hey we're still trying to get him here i'm just saying if it were like this I have opinions. Yeah, and they don't matter. Take your opinions to the kitchen. It took me forever to pronounce her name. It's Ashley. Oh, we had that conversation. Yeah. Also we nailed was that one. Ashley. <laughs> Something like that. Jack Standard, snap, snap. You know it. No, DK, you doesn't. thank you for the reserve. Oh, it worked today. Yes. Uh -huh. Thank you so much Hello. for the research. Hello DK, yes. thank you. Much How are you doing? Do you maybe want to spend some time with us today? Are you enjoying the Super Bowl maybe? <laughs> or maybe do you have any plans for today? Watching the big game? The big game. Or maybe the Valentine's Day tomorrow? Hmm? How are you doing? <laughs> uh, I guess it's time for beans, huh? Uh, let me move this here for a second. Yes, please press that button, Tifa. <sighs> if I had a girl come at me like that, it would be an instant turn off. It's okay, DK. <sighs> I'm crying. I, I've got tears in my face. Are you sure you don't like it? No? Actually, Tifa, I think DK was turned off by you because nobody would ever reject me. Oh. Welcome to the worst stream on the internet. I'm okay coming in second place. Usually that's my line. Please stop the cringe and eat your beans. DK, that's the whole stream. I, I would if I could, but it's the whole stream. Tifa, pick your hand. <laughs> Give me this one. Wow, you get the good ones. I'm not sure about that. You've got uh, light blue and dark blue and one of those is toothpaste. And the other, I think, is blackberry. So you win. Or blueberry right. even. So I can first... No, some you berries before I brush my teeth. No, Tifa, you blind pick one of them because we do them one after another for DK. Other than the awkwardness, DK, how are you doing? 
All right. I'm gonna cheer something coming along. Are you gonna watch the Super Bowl? Time for my first one. I think it's cinnamon. Cheers. Wow. You didn't even clink me, you animal. Ha. Huh. There you go. Not gonna watch that. Blech. Me neither. Mm. To be fair though, after all the bullshit I've been saying this stream, I feel like I need to wash out my mouth with this toothpaste bean. I will ban myself after the stream. <laughs> Preemptively. <laughs> it's cinnamon. I don't like cinnamon jelly bean. No, not one bit. Mm. I'm gonna stream Beat Saber in a bit, but wanted to have a satisfaction <laughs> of the beans. Well, DK, I'm Cheers happy I was able to give you some sort of satisfaction. <laughs> Kalink me, you animal. Cheers. Here you go. Mm, this one is good. What is this? Mm, what did DK put in my mouth? <laughs> I don't know what this taste is. <laughs> I can't even today. I think it's supposed to be birthday cake. It doesn't taste like anything in particular. Yeah, the toothpaste is way too strong. Well, they say those beans come in all flavors. <laughs> Not sure if that's the one you want though. I'm actually shocked that that bean flavor doesn't exist somewhere on the internet. I'm quite sure it does. I wouldn't buy them personally, but I'm pretty sure there's someone who would. There is no way it doesn't exist. So we're gonna go on an internet deep dive, safe search mode on, that and look for those? definitely has to exist. I mean, you have smelling candles that smell like vagina. Thank you, Gwyneth Palfer. Mm-hmm, true, goop. So that? is gonna be a thing. No way it's not. Welcome to the internet, if you can think of it, it exists. Yes. But we only think of you. Yes, we, we never have impure thoughts <laughs> of anyone but you. <laughs> what, you already did the screen conversion? Uh, it still fits the mood. Now we can have Colonel Sanders watching yes. us. Back to our one and only desire. <clears throat> you look for sprinkles in hopes that he might step in, but he's nowhere to be found. Down those cute corgis and their short but sturdy stature. I hate that too about him. You look down at your station and you realize that, in the tension of a moment, your hands have been cooking on autopilot. Distracted by the drama, you've already crushed the boiled potatoes into a perfectly creamy mash texture with plenty of butter and cream for flavor. It's as if your natural passion guided you through the steps you know so well while your attention was elsewhere. I can completely picture this. I know just what to do, said Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders extends his hand. He's holding a beautiful white porcelain gravy boat, out of which pours a smooth brown gravy, smothering your nearly finished potato dish. You want to smother my potato dish? You cannot tell me in any way, shape or form that they wrote this game and didn't intend for anyone to read it the way we do. This game, by the way, is brilliant. Like, yes. if you're looking for a game to play tomorrow on Valentine's Day, go for it. I, I don't like KFC as a company for many reasons, but this game is amazing. <laughs> yeah, I'm keeping this to just lurk, otherwise I might need a bucket. <laughs> DK, thank you for the lurk. That's fine. To each your own. Yeah. Pun unintended. You want to fill this bucket? Gravy flows down the mound of mashed potatoes. The results look spectacular. <laughs> Granny would be very proud. <laughs> to be honest though, this does look good. Yes, it does. Colonel Sanders holds a spork out to you. What's with you, the sporks? It's clearly the eating uh, utensil of the gods. 
it's a spoon and a fork. So I'm gonna buy you a perfect. fork for your birthday. Please do. Not. Colonel Sanders holds a spark out to you. You reach out and grab hold of it, but he doesn't immediately let go. The two of you stand holding the same spark, and for that small moment, all of the madness and pressure in this crazy world just stops. Your eyes lock. The moment is electric. Time stands still. If you love something, set it free. <laughs> Where does that come from? <laughs> or did I miss something here? I, th I think that means we're just friends, to be honest. But let's carry on. Together you dig the utensil into the mashed potato and lift a heaping sparkful up. When you see Ashley with a sinister look, you know she's plotting against you to be with Colonel Sanders. Get away from my man, bitch. And then, filled with rage and without thinking, you fling the spark of mashed potatoes right into Ashley's stupid, beautiful face. <laughs> it seems so random all of a sudden. Food fight! <laughs> yes. Van Van, do something! Do something! Scooping up a finger full, Van Van tastes the dripping mashed potatoes and gravy and realizes that it's delicious. Horrified by this revelation, he slinks away. Will he ever be able to cook something with so much love and integrity? Not everyone can handle our mashed potatoes. And Sanders' gravy. Hold on right there, Aggie. We do not waste food in the broom cooking arena. Colonel Sanders, I expect better from you. If you throw one more spoonful or sparkful, you'd both better be prepared to eat it from wherever it lands. <laughs> Oh, we promise sprinkles, we won't waste a drop. We started with scolding and we ended on kinky again. <laughs> Can I have potatoes face? No. Van Van rushes back a covered dish in his hand. Mashed potatoes with gravy? Pathetic! In just a few minutes I've prepared a full meal. Gaze upon my specialty. Braised tentacle of octopus in my silky saltwater sauce. Planted on a battle axe blade forged by my supreme chef ancestors. That looks really cool, but there's no way in hell I will eat that. That is the most metal meal I've ever seen. With the sauce drip in the star holder. Yes. Yes, yes it would. I find this uh, highly inconvenient, but yes, it looks cool. That is true. You've ignored me for too long. That ends now. It is I who will have first light, and you will look on with envy. The interrupting student rushes at Van Van and swipes a bite of a signature dish right off a plate or oh, axe plate. No, don't. <laughs> Something about this dish doesn't strike my nose quite right. I think the octopus was rushed and may have turned in the process. The results could be toxic. Oh no! Too late, it has been eaten. He looks like he's gonna puke. I uh, think I left something in the oven. <laughs> These buns. I don't feel so good. Can octopus really turn toxic like that? Like normal octopus? Yes. Really? Yes. I didn't even know that. All meat does. Vegetables too. Food as well. <laughs> it killed him. That's where the ghost came from we saw in the intro. Cool. <gasps> that looks kind of cute actually. It does. It's an improvement. Not that he died, but his design now looks cooler than before. It's your line, Tifa. I already said it. Everyone step back. Don't take another bite. When you look back at the plate, the rest of it is gone. You notice the tip of a tentacle being slurped up in Pop's mouth. But just the tip. Yes, just the tip. <laughs> That's the point. <sighs> Pop winces in pain for just a moment, then it's almost immediately back to his oblivious self. Oopsie! Tastes like poison. Glad he knows what poison tastes like. The entire class is gathered to watch Pop's final moments. Shock has frozen the whole crowd. They're as emotionless as statues. Could we have prevented this? 
The class bell rings, disrupting the moment and snapping everyone back to reality. Isn't that an Eminem lyric? <laughs> Snap back to, back to reality. Da, 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 da. <laughs> it would appear that Pop's enthusiasm for trying new things, despite obvious danger, has inoculated him against poison of all kinds. But sorry, school bell, gotta go, gotta impress Colonel Sanders. Yeah. I'm not sure the professors here make enough money. You're the CEO, you can fix this. <laughs> Ghost of student. Um, hello. I just turned into a ghost over here. <laughs> that is so random. Seeing that you're shaken up by that really annoying student and all this nonsense, Colonel Sanders approaches you. Imagine being annoyed at someone being poisoned and dying next to you. I know, right? Zero <laughs> out of five stars. Someone else had bad food. Sanders was just mashing my potatoes and here you have to go die. Yeah. I'm sorry I had to go through that. Please, let me walk you home. <laughs> what? Like, for real? Oh, come on. You follow Colonel Sanders out of the room. At night, the school building has taken on another vibe entirely. It's dark and more than a little spooky. Colonel Sanders stands in the quartz neon glow and speaks softly. Those mashed potatoes you made in class today. What about it? Before you go on, I want you to know they're not a great representation of my skills. I didn't even realize I was making them. They were amazing. Tasting them, it reminded me why I became so passionate about food to begin with. Okay, we did something good. Colonel Sanders is getting choked up. Cooking is obviously important to him in a way that you find inspiring. Now might be the perfect time to tell him you're developing feelings for him. Also, if in the beginning we picked Miriam, would we have gone through this with her? Potentially, yes. I wonder if it's gonna be like a BFF scenario or I realize I have feelings for my friend scenario. I'm gonna play this again and pick the other side. Maybe next year. Colonel Sanders? Yes, Aggie. There's something I need to tell you. Hold it right there. Uh, not gluten -free, There's something dude. I need to tell you first. Oh jeez. You see, when I was just a boy, I had a dream that one day I would be the greatest chef the world has ever seen. And every day since I've been working toward that dream, day and night, never stopping, never resting. Also, lifting a lot of weights, like so many weights. So why are they all crying? This is deep. This is emotional, Tifa. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. We should follow our dreams of all of our hearts, but our souls may grant them, like wishes, Floating on a shooting star. Ooh. Hey, no, I... You. Shut up. I'm the one to say inspirational stuff and be the star of the story. I like how the star shape kept. I know, right? He's that great. Are we forgetting that you're cooking literally killed a guy? You can't prove that. Hmm. I also saw you kill that guy. What was his name? Student. Ow, hiccups. Somewhere in the distance, you hear a long, sad sigh. Forget him, we're talking about me. Me, 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 me. I'm the hero. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh, those teeth look so uncomfortable. So what is this thing made of besides sports? Um, I think if your food is bad enough, it becomes a spork monster. <laughs> I feel, however, like I need to prepare myself mentally and physically before this, I assume, final battle and only battle with a spork monster. So, short break. <laughs> oh, sorry. Do you mind if we all maybe take a short break before the big fight? And only because you're the one asking me. That is really sweet, all. Let's take a short break, everybody. While we're gone, maybe get something to drink and some snacks, Oh, Yuppie. Welcome back, everyone. I think it's time to fight for Spark Monster. 
Tifa. If the game didn't disappear. That was me getting the stream back. <laughs> there you go. You can be the spark monster. For a second, I thought you closed the game. Without saving. Well, to be honest, to come back here would be rather quick. Well, yeah. It's a visual true. novel. But anyway. Still. This spork monster is here to find a hero. <laughs> we are no hero. Oh shit, look at how big that thing is. I thought the spork monster was the size of a spork. Like... The spork monster <laughs> is here to fight a hero. I, uh, I think I left the fridge door open. Later, nerds. <laughs> we will not let harm come to another student. Except for that ghost kid. I kind of dropped the bottom. <laughs> well, to be honest, that wasn't our fault. True. Okay, higher or lower? Stick with a high-pitched voice. Be afraid! Be very afraid of me! Because I'm a monster! See? Cutest monster ever. Is he running on purpose or is that just a coincidence? I think it's on purpose. That's why I feel like this is me when I'm hungry. Translate for me, Super Bowel Day. That's what Kelly has written on our calendar. Um, <laughs> Super Darmtag. Das ist was Kelly auf unseren Kalender geschrieben hat. Super Darmendag. Das ist was Kelly auf unseren Kalender heeft geschrieben. Bless you. <lacht> also, Uhu, welcome back, Ranger. And maybe Kelly, if you can hear this too. Uhu. We missed you. Did you happen to finish Red Dead Redemption? I hope you did. Did you have fun? Anyway, either way, thanks you for lurking. Hm? I wasn't expecting the whole thing. You wrote <laughs> you the whole wrote thing it. in the text of a redeem, so you're getting the whole thing. It's in one line. We are contractually obligated to do it. <laughs> Still trying to beat it. Is the end that hard? It depends on what part of the end. Okay, Spoilers. Oh, suddenly grooming. <laughs> Currently herding cattle. I know that feeling. Mm. You wanna come herd us? Heard. That's what I said. In this instance, it's incredibly important to pronounce the D properly, Tifa. Bit of pain. Do your it line. Doesn't take <laughs> it's the chores phase of the endgame. <laughs> oh, chores. That sounds annoying, yeah. actually. <laughs> yes, it does. Is he rhyming on purpose, or is that just a coincidence? But before you can discuss syntax any further... Is he gonna eat Sanders? It's a turn-based fight sequence! I... What will you do? Did not see that coming. We're Suddenly, Final Fantasy uh, 69. <laughs> okay. Uh, attack, I say. Yeah, attack. You decide to go on the attack. Which attack will you use? Cook with love. Yeah. One damage. Cook with love does one damage. It just got real. The attack really upsets Spock Monster. Spock Monster goes on the attack. They spit hot gravy at you. Ah, oh, please, don't hit my hair. <laughs> you take one damage. Uh, attack? Yeah, if we keep taking one damage. You decide to go on the attack. It worked last turn, I'm glad. Cook with Love does one damage. Spock Monster won't forget this. Spock monster is really feeling threatened by your attack. Spock foe. <laughs> <laughs> this is so random. Spock monster focuses their mashed mind and draws an energy from Mother Earth itself. They grow larger and more intimidating. How will you respond other than to look on an awe at the sheer size? <laughs> uh, Want to try defending ones? You decide to defend. Which defense will you use? Trepidation? What's that? You hold your head between your thighs, I mean your hands, and mutter, <laughs> this is not happening, this is not happening. That Spock right. monster is no quitter. Buffed up and ready to rumble, they go on the attack once again. Spock monster uses utilitensile. You take two damage from the attack. I thought we were defending. If you take much more damage, you're not going to survive a battle. Well, attack. You decide to go on the attack. Cook with love does one damage. 
Spark Monsters oozing cheese sauce onto the lawn of a quad. I haven't done that since I was a teenager. <laughs> I, I hate who's... it when I ooze my cheese sauce all over the place. At school even, yeah. I wonder who's going to have to clean that up. Feeling vulnerable, Spock Monster prepares for its ultimate attack. Rounded at you. Vile villain, your reign of terror stops there. <laughs> he got the cock stick back. Colonel Sanders summons the energy of 1000 chickens. Pot, pie, power, pinch! Pot, pie, power, pinch does 10 damage. Spark Monster is defeated. 10 damage? You saved me. An injured Spark Monster spews steam into the night. Oh, Tifa, do you think Colonel Sanders is a merciful man? I do not think so. Oh, I see one to finish the job. He looks like a man that finishes. Like, I want to feel mercy for the thing. But we don't really know its personality, so I would go with it. But it's a Spock monster. Maybe it could become an ally if we treat it uh, appropriately. No, I think he would go for finish him. So we're finishing people off in this trip? No student will ever walk the quad in fear again. This monster messed with the wrong chef. Attack! You're ready for your final attack. You'll never survive my student dead loan destruction. <laughs> Emotional oh. damage. <laughs> is that why the only thing we have learned how to cook or have been able to cook so far is fucking potatoes? That's all we can afford. <laughs> Damn, this game cuts deep. That is rough. Student loan debt destruction does 10 damage. Spark monster is completely vaporized. Colonel Sanders looks on in awe. You continue to surprise me, Aggie. But in a good way. The defeated monster left behind the special item. It appears at first to be a cookbook. But upon closer inspection, it's so much more. It's a book of magic spells with a golden chicken on the cock. <laughs> Some people might even say a golden cock. You open the cover and find a library card tucked inside. The library card? The last name to have signed it out is Borko. Hmm. Borko. That name sounds strangely familiar. Have we heard that before? Not in this game. Your blood is pumping as you stand in the quiet of the night, holding the mysterious book in your hands. As you come down from your battle buzz, you realize that your final attack has left you completely depleted. The world around you begins to fade away. No, Colonel, don't, don't, please. <laughs> Without any energy to keep your eyes open, darkness overtakes you. The image of Colonel Sanders flashes before your eyes as you fall asleep. He's he not. Carry us home. He's a gentleman. He wouldn't take uh, advantage of this kind of scenario. No. What is not that he should. <laughs> Just saying. He already had permission to take advantage of us. Ravager Senpai. <laughs> Sorry, Colonel. He must have helped you get home in your tired state. You don't know if you could have made it without him. What a guy. You want to thank him, but you don't have the strength to utter a single word. That's what depth duty does to you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I always found those. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> like super awkward. I've never once in my life <laughs> seen somebody do this and have it not be really fucking awkward. That, to me, that's the thing that only works in movies. I'm just saying. Yeah, and even there, it's weird as fuck. You feel your covers being pulled up over you as you're tucked in tightly. Good night. Oh, wait, that's you. Good night, my colonel. In your dream, you're together oh. with Colonel Sanders. For some reason, Sprinkles is also there instructing your love. 
Dreams are weird and kinky. <laughs> Odd. I have to say, I've had some weird dreams from what I remember, but I've never flown off on a giant dr chicken drumstick. What else have you flown off into space with, huh? <laughs> Go for it. You awake on day two and attempt to process the wild visions you had. Were they memories or premonitions? Tifa, I honestly thought we're getting toward the end of the game, but that was only day fucking one. I think we're going through all three days. I'm not we've, sure if we're gonna make that today. We've been playing for two and a half hours. Normal people take two hours with this game. <laughs> We haven't even been stalling that much. I I didn't think so either. Maybe they don't read out all the lines. Not like this anyway. <clears throat> well, I'm sorry, but if you if it takes two hours to get through this game clicking, there's no way we're gonna be done by tomorrow. Well, Tifa, you know what they say, some things take their time. And then there was the secret ingredient that Colonel Sanders went ahead and told you all right. Not much of a secret, huh? It took me sex, uh, sex. <laughs> Excuse me? Sex. Excuse me? Tifa, <laughs> up until that moment, yeah? We could have all pinned it down. Oh no, you kids, get your minds out of a gutter. You just fucked it all up. <laughs> I did. It took me six to seven hours. Holy shit. We saw earlier that it was like two hours to finish. We were like, yeah. oh, we can do that in one stream. To be honest, if you can last two hours already, that's quite impressionable. If you're uh, impressionable, that's quite the impression you would leave on me, but six to seven hours, <laughs> damn. I would need to get up in between and get some food and something to drink or something. <laughs> maybe, maybe take a quick nap to recuperate, you know. Anyway, keep going. It's probably just because he already trusts you so much. Sure, that makes sense. We'll go with that. You meet up with your bestie in front of a school. Before you can tell her about the encounter with the Spork Monster, she launches into a story of her own. What did she do with Clank? Okay, I know this might sound a little strange, but I think I might be him. Um... In love with Clank. I think I might like Clank. Who doesn't? Clank is awesome. Like him. Like, like, like. I know it sounds like it's moving too fast, but there's something about him. I like him. Like, like him. Clank is a sweetheart. He is really warm inside. Well, he's a bit cold, if you ask me. Only to the touch. Um, and he's full of surprises. <laughs> and uh, I think with him you really feel like... Uh, if you put, like what you put into him, you get out many fold. <gasps> Gonna be surprised. What? That's different. But we probably had different options picked, I would yeah. assume. We got to talking after class and he's actually a totally sweet guy. Not only that, but he's really smart. He told me all kinds of stories about Colonel Sanders. Oh, my friends. So he's smart because he has stories about Colonel Sanders? Yeah. Did you know that Colonel Sanders was the most popular kid in high school? Wait, quickly going back to the smart thing. People think I'm smart because I'm sitting next to you. Just saying. I'm just saying. I mean. No, but that does make complete sense. I know, right? <laughs> Thank you, Tifa, for letting your star make mine shine even brighter sometimes. <laughs> yeah, but he was so popular that he was voted prom king at a school he didn't even go to. It was also the convertible that he himself rode in at the front of the homecoming parade. Wait, what? Wait, so Colonel Sanders is really fucking popular. Cool. No, no oh. doubts there. Wait. He was also the con... What? He was a car? 
Yeah, that's what I'm confused at as well. But I'm guessing that he just wrote. No, he became a car, car himself. What? I think that's what it's supposed to. Say. I'm yeah. thinking maybe something got lost in pressure cooker language translation there. Good thing I continued because that explains <laughs> that the previous thing doesn't make sense. Yeah. Either way, maybe it'd be best if you took it slow with this new boy, like I am with Colonel Sanders, not oh. by archers. Oh, we a thing now. Oh. You and Colonel Sanders, the coolest guy in school, the most famous student at blah, 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 to ever attend University of Cooking School Academy for Learning? You're a thing now? Well, we definitely connected yesterday. <laughs> sure you did. You're great. Why wouldn't he be into you, I guess? I'm only slightly jealous. Laughing at the implication that you and Colonel Sanders might be thing is definitely not cool. You are great. He should be. You sense. have an idea how to prove that your love is real. What? Well, if he's not into me, why does he tell me one of his secret ingredients? <laughs> Marketing. Your bestie's eyes light up. A secret ingredient? Yeah, I just said that. A secret ingredient. Is there a dramatic echo in here? You know what the secret ingredient is? What? Semen. <laughs> I doubt it. No. People who worked at sea, also working at KFC. Seamen. What did you think about? Wow, that's disgusting. Miriam checks to make sure you're alone before continuing. So this summer, while I was on vacation with my family, a lovely man approached me in a botanical garden while I was wandering. This a sounds, lovely man. This sounds like a kidnapping story about to happen. Case in point, this can't be good. He told me all about his, pas his passion for spices. Secret spices. The man even gave me some. You want to give me some of your spice? Maybe. To show me what he meant. He said it was a powder created from super duper rare dried for the flower petals. And that if I did him a big favor, I could have some of my own. I'm sorry, but a drug dealer slash pimp walked up to Miriam in a botanical fucking garden, gave her drugs and told her she can have more if she turns tricks for him. That's what yeah. happened there. What a question. Yes, what this I has think. nothing to do with frying chicken. And I'm sorry for yelling, but... <laughs> Come on, she's gonna say what the favor was. Please, Miriam, don't tell me. So I filled my suitcase with them and brought them home. Okay, so she's only a drug mule. Wait, the secret ingredient is cocaine? It would explain things, but... Well, what was the favor? <laughs> well. He was so nice, he even met me at the gate when I arrived. And later when I cooked with them, a very strange feeling came over me. And the flavor wasn't like anything I'd ever tasted. Or it's just MSG. You know, um, full behind the scenes spoilers for a moment. Before we started and in between we were chatting like uh, are we taking it too far with this game? No, we're not. This <laughs> game is doing it to itself. No, everything we're doing is justified. Oh, I couldn't do every stream like this though. I think you're being very liberal with the meaning of spices here. Alright, so um, now we know our friend likes to cook with drugs. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with a bit of coke. It's it? just oregano, okay? Don't worry. Whatever. Anyhow, we both share an interest in cooking, so we've stayed in touch, you know, like pen pals. I bet he would love to know more about new spices. I'm sure he would. Well, I'm definitely not supposed to share Colonel Sanders' secret recipe. And besides, I only know of one ingredient, so I doubt that'd be much use to anyone. I have a feeling that Colonel Sanders told her that the secret ingredient in his deep fried chicken is... Chicken. <laughs> I think you'd be amazed at how far you can get with one ingredient. That's true. Please, please, please! It would mean the world to me! No one has to know it came from you or from Colonel Sanders. No. 
make up a fake ingredient. What do you think? Should you protect Colonel Sanders secret or share it with your bestie? Make up a fake one. You quickly think of a fake ingredient name. I don't know how about... Ugh, disgusting. <laughs> it was I have Newt. I know, sounds like some kind of witch's potion, but what can you do? I have Newt! Wow! <laughs> hey Tifa. Yes, Jack. I don't think I'm prepared. <laughs> Send nudes. <laughs> okay. That Ca one was too bad. Carrying on. <clears throat> her eyes light up imagining such a thing and you figure that you've satisfied her curiosity and she'll move on. However, she immediately turns around and does some thump typing on her phone that you can't quite see. That's probably not good. Before you can ask her to confirm that she was definitely not texting secrets to other people, you interrupted. A wind rushes in. Cherry blossom Ooh. petals fill the air. That looks nice. Colonel Sanders. <laughs> I'm sorry, but arriving on horse is one of the coolest ways you can arrive anywhere. <laughs> Look at his saddle. Oh, it has chickens on them. That's really cute. That's a very pretty horse, by the way. Yeah. I would cook with a horse. <laughs> it's Colonel Sanders. He's arriving at school. Run to. Sure. You decide the best way to show Miriam how serious you and Colonel Sanders are would be to run to him. Surely he'll sweep you up onto the back of a stallion and you'll ride away together. That'll show her good. Oh, Colonel. Oh, Colonel. Oh my god, I keep fucking this up. Oh, Colin, <laughs> my Colin. This is now a diarrhea stream. If that is so rooted in you, it's very hard to get that out. Of course your Colin is rooted in you. <laughs> oh, Colonel. My Colonel. <laughs> However, your sudden movement surprise the horse oh, and it rears up, kicking you directly in the face. Fuck, I should have seen that coming. Damn! I, I had a feeling this might happen, but I thought it was still cute. I didn't. Also, how the fuck did he not warn us? Well, we were dead fast. He didn't I'm, see us coming. I'm sorry, this colonel is not all he's cracked up to be. I'm just saying, a proper... Gentlemen would have warned us. We were just too fast. <laughs> Wouldn't well. want to be too fast, huh? The force of a blow completely knocks you out cold. This was the end of day two. Oh, Benjima, hello, welcome to the Super Bowl slash awkward but very adorable Valentine's Day stream. How are you doing? I'm super happy to see you. How's your pre-Valentine Day coming along? Happy Valentine's Eve to you if you haven't uh, immediately closed the stream. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm good, how are you? We, we are very ooh because that's how we feel today. <laughs> I was doing shit until you came along. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> You're gonna was cute as Bitch. <laughs> that was cute when you don't think about it, yeah. <laughs> wow. How are you doing? <sighs> I was going to close it when I heard Super Bowl. Yeah, that, that's that's just one of the excuses we needed to play a game about KFC. So, you know, Super Bowl, food, deep fried food, KFC. I take it that means you're not watching tonight. Hmm. Neither do we. <clears throat> In the darkness you see a vision. <laughs> oh no, he's still dead. Oh, Eggy, I am here to deliver you a message. 
Not this guy. It is important that you remember this exactly as I say it. If you forget, the oh. world could end, so you know it's serious. My world would end without you. Tifa, you are my world. Lev, Lev. Lev, Lev? No, love, love. <laughs> I didn't even watch the half time show. Me yeah, neither. same. I will be very confused tomorrow when I go on the internet and I see people posting about stuff that happened on the half time show. But... That's usually all I know is like who played in it because of all the shit that comes the next day. Which um, rich person showed another rich person's uh, nipples? That's what I remember from Super Bowl shows. What? <laughs> Justin Timberlake and Whitney Houston. It was Whitney Houston, no? Oh, I don't even recall that. You don't remember Nipplegate? No. I feel like this is the most appropriate stream to talk about this. I told you I don't. Yeah. Uh, Timberlake and I think Janet Jackson. Jackson. Thank, yeah, true. Whitney Houston is a bit older. Um, yeah, he and Janet Jackson had a song, and they were doing this whole choreography, and like he put her hand on his chest and ripped off one of the pieces on her <laughs> lever. I think it was a lever outfit, and it revealed her entire breast. So that was on purpose. I'm. Why else would you rip part of her dress off? Before you get all wild, I think it was on purpose because first of all, she had pasties. Why do you have pasties on if you don't think this will happen? Second of all, people talked about this for months. Pasties are the nipple stickers, right? Yeah, like band-aids oh, for yeah, your okay. thing. So oh, it was pre-planned. You can hate them, you can love them, you could not avoid them for months. They well, made that that's show. The whole point, no? Yes. It goes yeah. back to the whole, oh, even bad PR is PR. In the UK, no one would give a fuck. Same over here. Same o to my experience, or from what I remember, forever, I'm drunk, sorry. Um, it was only American news outlets reporting on this for months. Because yeah, how but dare you? Nipples in the U.S. are a much more, con or considered a much more mature and erotic thing. Yes, um, you can show all the gore and violence you want, but no nudity whatsoever. <laughs> I saw this happen. I was like, "Oh, that's crazy! That way went where?" And then I was thinking, like, "Okay, yeah, fine. No, I mean, she mm. had pasties on. Even if she didn't, like, cool." Look at the picture, yeah, nice. I mean, if you're a huge fan of her, that might mean more to you, but to me it was like, meh. Yeah. We'd be like, you go, girl. I mean, she didn't break any laws, did she? Well, I, but to I be honest, care. it worked, because you still remember. I mean, isn't all the, those whole no. halftime things just to show to... I remember because of the weeks, months of bullshit that followed, not because it happened. Like, no. Well, it's good publicity in a way. She was plagued by it. Yeah, yeah, people were oh. giving them shit. Like, uh, first it was her fault, because clearly, when a man goes up to a woman and yeah. reveals her tits, it's the woman's <laughs> fault. That was sarcasm, by the way, people, just so you know. I don't agree with that line of thinking. Clearly. Um, and then it was his fault, and then it wasn't, and then they were both to blame, and then ultimately, I believe the consensus on, well, on the outspoken internet was again it was her fault but I if it was pre-planned then how can it be they never said that oh okay then I, I don't think they did did they i could be wrong Do okay, the timberlake debate off. in the discord that was partly about it i don't but that could be the alcohol it was oh, her no, idea, i remember apparently. but i didn't recall that was part of the hatred towards timberlake to be honest i get it like, it's not exactly what I would like to be talked about for, but it worked. I, you know, just saying, it worked. And like nowadays, when I hear a, a Janet Jackson song in the, on the radio, I don't think, oh my god, she's the lady who revealed her boob. I'm like, oh cool, it's a Janet Jackson song. I 
it, it doesn't mean as much to me. But she got much more trouble for it, of course, because she's the woman. Yeah, clearly, because sexism isn't a thing. Translate for me. I love you, Colonel Sanders. Ich liebe dich, General Sanders. I think it's General. I think it's General. Let I me mean, double check. Wow, stop breaking the game. I ich kaufe on you, Colonel Sanders. See? Sorry, I, I fucked it up. Sorry, I, I don't do military stuff. I, I never served. Um, liebe dich. <laughs> liebe dich. Dich. You. I mean, I also love you, but Sanders. Um, ich liebe dich, Oberst Sanders. Today I learned Colonel is Oberst. Der Oberst? That sounds really weird. Sorry, quickly nerd out because drunk and I don't have any impulse control left. Schlag Oberst. Again, using the same word I just used in German, Oberst, is how you say whipped cream in Austrian German. Really? I've never even heard of that. You have when you went to Vienna for five days. Yeah, but I don't think I've heard anyone say whipped cream. The in more Vienna. you know. Yes. Well, punch, there you go. Literally speaking, punch kernel <laughs> means whipped cream in Austrian German. Whatever works. Non military German. Sounds fishy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, congratulations Ranger on kicking Skinner's ass yesterday. Oh nice, congrats. Indeed. <clears throat> I have been trapped in a realm beyond, but a great prophecy relies on my return. Only you can save me. All you need to do is repeat my name three times. Student, student, student. And that name is... But before I can continue, you suddenly awake. Well, that sucks. There goes the world. Oh, jeez. Would you rather he was in the military? Well, the military didn't want Jack. True. I got uh, ausgemustert, meaning not fit for service. So I didn't even have to do the back then. Mandatory... I think Mandatory military months. time. Yeah. There was a draft back when we were in Germany in the US. Oh, hello, 5K1NN3R, colloquially known as Skinner. How are you doing? Welcome to the Super Bowl slash most Uwu and Valentine's Day stream. It doesn't mean anything if you don't follow up. There's nothing wrong with being a second late Benjamin, as long as it was still good. And Wario just sucks and I was tired as fuck. <laughs> but that's still okay, Skinner. I hope you had a good time with Wario. Oh. I hope it sucked in a good way. Oh. <laughs> if this makes you feel uncomfortable, <laughs> I welcome. can't even do this anymore. <laughs> How you doing, Skinner? I heard you got your ass kicked a few times. You awake to find Colonel Sanders tending to you. What did I walk into? Skin of a most uwu <laughs> stream on the internet. Have you not checked the channel redeem yet? Have you not read the stream title? Have you not looked at the screen? Welcome to the oh. Super Valentine's Ball Day. <laughs> TOS <laughs> violation stream. I, I don't know. I don't think so, but I don't know. Well, it's about time Colonel Sanders is tending to us. I would think so, his horse ca fucking kicked us in the ass. <laughs> you awake to find Colonel Sanders tending to you. I had that dream once. <clears throat> you roused you back to life with a satchel of secret spices. Or is that just his natural seasoned musk? I'm surprised they didn't go with bag. Or sack. His natural seasoned musk. What part of his body was closest to our nostrils? Skinner, what? that's why we're talking like this, because this game makes us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nasty. Some people are into that. I ain't king shaming. Definitely not. Oh. I say we should compliment the craftsmanship of his horse's shoes. I would think so too, because I doubt he's gonna accept the kiss. 
Maybe he shouldn't be riding a horse to school and maybe he shouldn't be running up to animals, you don't know. I mean, you saw two animals, but anyway, it's hard to say who was in the wrong here. But one thing for sure, that Colonel Sanders is pretty dreamy. Skinner, you're kind of making it too easy there. At Hideo Benjima, I know, right? I'm already in the shower, so I'd be clean in a jiffy. But Skinner, can you really get clean if you're this dirty? Do you want us to clean you up? <sighs> Why the fuck is someone in the shower and in chat? Excuse me. I'm glad you, you asked. King? Benjima, I'm glad you asked. The new iPhones are actually waterproof up until I believe 6 meters or whatever that is in feet. So uh, Skinner clearly has his priorities, right? Um, being here, chatting with all of you and us, of course and uh, showering at the same time. My phone isn't afraid of edging, <laughs> edges, I mean water. Yes, exactly. No, it's like I said earlier, he's already in the shower, so he can clean himself right up after all of this. High quality H2O. <coughs> yes. Tifa, let's talk about horses. That horse has beautiful shoes. Which is now tattooed on our forehead, basically. Wait, do the next line like this. <laughs> You've been hit in the face by a horse. <laughs> do it. I could really feel how smooth and sturdy they were when they were pressing into my face. That's nice to hear. No one truly appreciates good craftsmanship anymore. Wait, this is the first time he's shown hearts. Did they... Do they? Let's carry on. And with that, Colonel Sanders disappears into the school, leaving you and Miriam to follow. He came to school on a horse. The horse fucking drop kicked us in the face. We were knocked out cold. We saw a fucking ghost in space. Why am I talking like this? I don't know. And we just woke up and he walks off. Yeah, after he confirmed that we're okay. If we're not okay, we wouldn't have complimented his horse. Sorry. And he you... waited until we woke up. We might have internal bleeding in our face area. No, 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 no. We're fine. We're fine. Wow. I wonder what would have happened if we did go in for the kiss. This man said new. They've been like that since the XS or X. I wouldn't know that because my previous phone was an iPhone 6S Plus. I have a whole ass video. On... Oh, oh, wait. Sorry, wrong voice. I have a whole ass video on my old iPhone where I take it underwater in the pool. Skinner, you might not want to make that too public because um, I, f I have a feeling it, it depends on what happened at that pool, but maybe this is the wrong website to broadcast this. Depends on what happened. Well, at that it pool. has a whole ass on it. Damn. Oh shit, you're right. It's a whole ass video. <laughs> Oh fuck! Boom chicka. Wow wow. Boom chicka wow wow. Damn. Damn, I'm drunk. Yeah, you're right. That's okay. Everyone probably has like a video like that. Somewhere. Or well, bought one for me. We just need to find Colonel Sanders' video. Mm -hmm. I still want his 69 piece bucket. Just saying. And with that, Colonel Sanders disappears into the school, leaving you and Miriam to follow. Oh, two girls, huh? Mm. He's a kinky one. Wait. When you enter the classroom, you can see your two rivals, Ashley and Van Ban, are doing something bad. And by the way, they're hiding. You know it must be really bad. It seems like ages since Jack was drum streaming. To For be honest, this game, you need to be... It helps me not think as much. And it helps me keep up this voice. Like counterfeiting recipes bad, experimenting with restricted ingredients bad, summoning a demon bad. I mean, have you seen Daniel? Or uh, sprinkles when you need them. Mm. You try and get a peek of a Van Van's hulking shoulders, but he sees you coming. Kinky. 
Some people pay for that. <laughs> Do you see those lines? <clears throat> what a little one. I'm not sure you're ready to handle this. Mm. Why don't you make like a bee and mind your own wax, honey? It was my line, but you can have it. I was thinking about nuts, but anyway. Act like you're not interested and take a closer look. Yeah, let's spy on her. You sit near the rivals, but leave your back turned to them. You even hear Van Van mutter something that sounds a bit like a magic spell. I've seen this game too many times. I actually regret. I knew this game existed for so long, but I've never seen anything of it. And I, I avoided everything. Now. I avoided everything. I knew I wanted to play it at some point on stream. And I'm glad I'm doing it right now. <laughs> Why don't you like me? <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Why don't you make a, like a bee and a bee's nuts? <laughs> yes, yes, everybody should. <clears throat> However, he noticed you eavesdropping. You try and cover your tracks and improvise an excuse. <coughs> it's time for class and you're distracting the rest of us who went to learn? No, you've upset them. Uh -huh. Oh, and you're the emperor of cooking, are you? You make the rules? I'm not sure you'd know to make a good meal if it ate you. This is fucking kinky. Being the best chef in the world takes more than just culinary skills, mind you. It takes creativity. It takes panache. How the fuck did you know that word? I don't know. I've heard it before. I was expecting you to say pan egg. Pancake? Or that. Is this the KFC Predator sim? Yes. Short version, yes. And it doesn't hurt mm -hmm. to use a little evil. Can someone get his haircut though? I find his star pompadour amazing. I mean, I wouldn't pull it off myself, but... You finally get a look at what it is they were hiding and you instantly recognize it. I'd recognize those nuts everywhere. No, it's a cock book. <laughs> It's a book Wait. just like the one you found after your encounter with a Spock monster. Isn't that our cock? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Had like, to confirm. I'd recognize that everywhere. That's the same book that I found last night in the quad. Ashley immediately elbows Van Van who hides the book behind his back. Oh. Imagine mm. running off with our cock. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. That book is a family heirloom and its contents are secret. You notice that they haven't just been studying the book. They've got pop pinned to the wall and they're tossing potato skins at him as he tries to catch them in his mouth. What are we doing to pop? It sounds kinky, but I need another short break. Yeah, sure. Be right back. Well, I toss some potato skins at him. Gotta hydrate, because we're all thirsty here. This is the first day's dream, yes. If I had a nickel for every time someone stole my cock, Benjima, how many nickels would you have, huh? <laughs> or would it be enough to make you pound? <laughs> we're just falling deeper and deeper. <laughs> They're about to jump in the shower real quick. Oh no, oh no. We still have a mission to complete. I'm not even sure if we're gonna be able to complete it, to be honest. Oh no, we would have to play the second half of this game at some point. That would be horrible. <laughs> I don't think anyone could survive that, including us. <laughs> we're playing! <laughs> I hate pop. Before you can dig in any further, you're interrupted by the arrival of more students. It's almost time for class. Beep beep. I haven't seen Clank in a while. Clank is thick. <laughs> Clank puts the ass into class. I'm just saying. Touch was gonna we're gonna say Clank and I was preparing a remark for that. <laughs> it didn't happen. Two, which isn't a lot, but it's weird it happened more than once, right, Dr. Doofenshmirtz? <laughs> Look at you quoting the Germans. 
That German is great, though. Yes. Very sure. There's a platypus controlling me. It's underneath a table. Well, I would play that, but DMCA. <laughs> Clang must be running late. He's in such a hurry that he rolls right over Van Man's meaty foot. And you know what they say about men with meaty feet? Ooh, they what have do they say? That they wear big shoes. <laughs> Did you think you freak? <laughs> Translate for me. Um, 80085. 80, of 80085. 80085. I get it. Boobs. I've had a calculator in my hands before. I went to high school. I remember things. It's been a while, but <clears throat> I'm old. Hey, watch it, you bucket of balls. You watch how you talk to him. He didn't do anything wrong. Warm. No, oh, he's smoky. Who do you think you're talking to? I've never heard such language. Not even from a stand mixer. I fucking hate it when my stand mixer talks to me. Womp womp. No, your mother was a stand mixer. <laughs> womp. Translate for me. Six. Uh, zes. Zex. <laughs> <laughs> but with a Z. Oh. Since I'm drunk and uh, have no filter. <laughs> exactly, Benjima. In German, this, this is a true fact. You can ask other Germans if you know any, if they're willing to tell you about German. Over here, when people are like, oh no, I can't say sex, they say sex, as in the number. And it's the dumbest, most infantile shit I've ever seen. Like, that's really but innocent. No. Like, we're all... Everybody watching this right now, believe it or not, you're a product of two people having a sexual intercourse. Why can't they say sex, though? I don't because know. Because awkwardness. I, appa Pureness. Apparently, app apparently people uh, having sex is awkward for some people. I don't know why. Well, to be honest, that is a thing for a lot of people. But if humans didn't do that, none of us would be here. That doesn't matter. That's why some shows or cartoons don't show the parents, because that implies they had sex, they live with uncles or aunts. Tifa, that's an awful lot of words to say, fuck Disney, by the way. So, not everybody at Disney, we have some really nice and talented people. Um, fuck a lot of people at Disney making decisions. My photography teacher was German, she was so hot. I've never taught photography. No, me neither. You're Dutch. So, who does have to do with anything? Most of them also can't scan squirrel properly either. Yeah, that's a problem. At least they say piranha properly. Oh, wait. <laughs> sorry, sorry. American way. Pranu. <laughs> pranu. I'm sorry, yeah, pranu. German, sorry. English second language accent. Piranha is Excellent. a really weird word, though. Excellent. I should stop drinking alcohol. Come on. Uh, that made me dizzy. <laughs> Van Van jumps to attack Clank, but Clank shocks Van Van, sending him flying across the room. I think that's Thundershock? Thunderbolt? It's very effective. Ooh, close up. You have to pull that pose to voice on him. Protect me, Colonel Sanders. These crazed men are about to come to blows. I think it must be over me, but I am not interested in either of them. Chances of uh, guys having come to blows over this particular screen, um, higher than I would believe, most likely. <laughs> Ashley's tone has completely changed in an instant. She bats her eyelashes at Colonel Sanders. She, surely he must know that this is a ruse, right? Gentlemen, get a hold of yourselves. Save it for the arena at least. Oh, an arena. Oh, don't. Honestly, what do I care? I've got lofty career aspirations to focus on. While Sanders, I'm... please point your cockstack at me. 
I know, right? <laughs> I, I was thinking exactly the same thing. She's doing that and he's literally pointing his cock at her. <laughs> and if you think I'm talking dirty, look at this screen. They're about to come to blows and they won't be fighting. Yes, exactly. Hold on, what the fuck? Did she not see him holding a staff with a chicken on top? He was literally holding... That's about the name. Yeah, she's fancy. Yeah, she's too cool to just be called Ashley, so she added letters to it. Yeah, it's Ashley. <laughs> Maybe I can help you with your business plan. Just then, oh. Sprinkles arrives to signal the true start of a class day. He's panting, which doesn't seem that abnormal. He's a kinky fuck too. <laughs> He's a professor, but he's also a dog. <laughs> you dog. Students, students, please take your seats. I apologize for my late arrival. I spent the morning chasing a car all around town and my tiny legs are very, <laughs> very tired. That's adorable. Porting. But I'm here now and I hope you are ready to learn. Rap his furry dog belly, he loves it. Not just him. Sprinkle stops in his tracks and sniffs the air around you. Something has him in a trance. We're going... Are you smelling that surprise chicken snack hidden behind my apron? In the secret pouch? Again? <laughs> oh. It's the sand left on you from Colonel Sanders. That is kinky. Sprinkles jumps on you and licks your face. Wait, does he like Sanders too now? Down, boy, down. Auftroppen. What's auftroppen? I was thinking they threw some German in there, but it's not even German either. I think it's supposed to sound German, but spoilers, this is not German. Auftroppen. <laughs> Man, I want KFC. <laughs> and honestly, shouldn't want. I had so much last week. I hear me out. I miss the taste of KFC. I don't miss KFC. I don't like their business practices. But fuck it, if they don't taste good, I understand why it's an international chain. I've only had KFC like once, and to be honest, that was a bit disappointing. The, the first time I had KFC was with you and your dad once. And you had it a ordered, couple times? And then we ordered a bucket. And that it was, was the last time. And it was super greasy. Yes. It was like a whole layer at the bottom of that thing. Over here, the KFC we We've went been there to... like twice, uh, baby, tops. We ordered a bucket because best option value for money uh, the problem with a bucket is that it's a bucket i know this might seem obvious to some people oh, of course it's a bucket you just said bucket twice no hear me out yeah but you would think they would at least like drip it off this came straight out of the oil and into the bucket even neglecting the fact that it's deep fried so oil or grease trickles from the top to the bottom which to me disgusting uh the heat moisture uh, steam, if you will, rises from the bottom to the top. So the bottom pieces were greasy, the, the breading was greasy as fuck from the grease dripping from the top, and the top pieces were mushy from the steam rising from the bottom. What I'm saying is, the KFC bucket I've had once in my life was fucking disgusting. Yeah. They leave it on plates that have holes in. Which KFC are you going? Germany. Yeah, it was not nice. Yeah. I also wasn't a big fan of their drumsticks that were in there. Like I, the Thais, yeah. When I still ate meat, I've had a couple KFC dishes and I loved all of them. Like, no joke, 10 out of 10, all of them. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's KFC. I would be willing me. to try it again, but you know, party pooper. That line works in so many cases. <laughs> it does. Wink, 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 wink. That command shouted by Colonel Sanders has left Sprinkles out of his trance. I wonder what's up with that. Could Colonel Sanders be a dom? Who knows? Sorry, I got a little carried away. After he catches his breath, Sprinkles regains control of a classroom. So he's a, he's a switchman. Without further ado, we'll review the global history of my favorite fowl, the chicken. 
Yeah, for sure. Do you want to pay attention to the lesson? Truly, you do. You know, it took me this long and honestly, that's disgusting, but this whole game is 50 shades of KFC. <laughs> 50 shades of deep fried chicken ass. Like, it is. Like, I'm curious to see all the options this game has to offer. It has something for everyone. <clears throat> Which is why in 1776, after. Blah, blah. Let me start again. <clears throat> Which is why in 1776, at the signing of the Declaration of Independence, it was a chicken who first signed their name. Yeah, the more you know. But you can't help but daydream about Colonel Sanders and you missed most of the important parts. When you come to Sprinkles is holding a tray of food in front of you. Ooh. Well, Aggie, naturally this appears to you to be a sample platter. Which item do you want to sample? I would think a dog biscuit. That's disgusting. But I think it's the correct answer. So we can blame 9-11 for this as well. I don't know exactly. Uh, I mean, you can, I wouldn't. Let's go with that. I have no idea what the right option here is. Dog biscuit. You sure? Yeah. But why do humans eat dog biscuits? Why not? That's a trade. We're showing appreciation for his food. Why would you eat a shimmering pepper? Do you really... I'm sorry Tifa, but do you really want the Colonel to look at us while we're eating animal food? Or do you want him to watch us be thirsty? Or would you rather him watch us swallow something hot? You don't want to bok bok all night with him? That was my plan, but what do dog biscuits have to do with that? Just saying. Okay, go for a glass of water then. I mean, I'm thirsty. You grab a glass of water and gulp it down. It's cool and crisp like the purest snow melted by a mountain spring. Hey, that was mine. It was for my favorite toilet. You owe me $6. <laughs> it was the wrong answer. <laughs> That's disgusting. You know, the toilet water is just drinking water. But served in the toilet. Why do you fucking keep <laughs> blinking at me? <laughs> that mattered. <laughs> Jack is way too good at this. I'm now intrigued why the talk, <laughs> not the guessing. Well, Benjima. Well, maybe... he guessed wrong, obviously. Maybe one day you'll find out why when you find my actual secret website. <clears throat> and you've got excellent taste. You think to yourself, geez, I should pet a... <clears throat> you think to yourself, geez, I should better pay attention. Also six bucks for a glass of toilet water. People... I know toilet water isn't quite the same, but I um, I do know for a fact that people have paid more for bath water that gave them herpes. Again, uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Google it and then ask your parents. <laughs> They'll be elated. Anyone interested in his bath water? I usually shower. Wow, I'm literally flushing all that money down the drain. Not if someone's interested. I'm gonna take baths now. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll include pictures. Of the water. Let <laughs> <laughs> say of what? <laughs> Beautiful. We all make mistakes. I'm sure I'll forgive you someday. Come on, it's time for lunch. I just drank toilet bowl water. I don't think I want to eat something. <clears throat> Before anyone can relax, the cafeteria lights dim and your rivals enter to make a dramatic announcement. Today's lunch will be prepared. He literally killed someone. Yeah, I wouldn't touch red food. Not at all. We're Just not say. eating anything he touches. You're lying. Oh. You're Ashley. <laughs> I thought you still had to finish it. No. Nope. Fire time, competitive, 
Cook off. The level of theatrics with two. The level of theatrics with these two is off the charts. I would think step up because he even said at some point that it's healthy to compete. A bit of a lunchtime competition, eh? Whenever I'm in doubt and I need to make a decision, I ask myself, which decision would make Colonel Sanders' penis harder for me? And then I go with that decision. <laughs> I should have flagged this stream as mature. Oh, Wait, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> Seriously? It's a bit late for that, isn't it? Whoops. <clears throat> I already did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. A bit of lunchtime competition. Huh? I did that twice now. <laughs> That's Count what she said. <laughs> I'm not the fool. You're the fool. Fool. Good one, Bandman. I like your gum, Chonagi. I'll be watching your performance. Oh. Their websites are what? You wanna watch me? Only Tifa. The only website you can subscribe to for free. <laughs> <laughs> we pay you to subscribe. <laughs> I'm that sorry. That would be very sad. Just as things reach a boiling point, Sprinkle steps in. Surely he'll put a stop to this madness. Now, now, students, please settle down. This is a lunchroom, not a sportsing court. Finally, a little sense. You breathe a sign of relief. At least not until we turn on the timer. <laughs> Just oh. then a huge light blasts you in the face. Flashing words. Timer ready. I, I need a timer like this. Can we ever save this game? Settings, maybe? No. Oh, it's chapters. Yeah, but we're not gonna make that. We're yeah, but halfway I, now. I was thinking this is a beautiful moment to do a cliffhanger thing and end the stream. Because the next time we pick up right in the heat of a battle, as the timer points to ready, and we're about to cock, I mean, cook off. But there has to be. No. It's a cock show off. Cooking. There Cooking has season. to be a way to save though. Let me look this up. I love you, Colonel Sanders. Sa How to save. This is actually <laughs> a thing people Google. This is this, it auto saves by the day. I just found a pause menu by clicking the area to the left of a bucket option. Area of the left. No, that's just. There's nothing here, and I'm advancing the game. I well, say. It auto save, so I guess next time before stream. We just we get do to it this again, point. We just get to this point again. I agree. Write down that word. Actually, I'll write that myself. Oh, trust me, they will find... Oh, I already pressed the button to do the screen transition, but we will find this. I had to Google how to quit Skyrim. <laughs> the answer was I know that. scrolling down on the menu screen. That's not always obvious, though. To be fair, it is absolutely disgusting how many games have user interface experience kind of things that just make plain no sense. I, I fully understand that. Yeah. Yes, I have. See, we can pick up right here. Oh, and where do we start then? I guess in the classroom. That's fine. Mm. In case y'all ain't know, because Ranger Cell didn't, if you flick the red stick, will do a smash attack under default settings. Yes. If you do ZR at the main menu and just scroll down to help, you'll be able to view techniques. If you select options from the ZR menu, it'll let you remap your controls and save it to a profile. I'm gonna skip the rest because yes, in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, there is a way to customize your controls and that's really handy. And that's why when we play together, I always make sure to use my own profile because I actually changed my controls. I have a slightly different profile. Yeah. Even though I never play anymore, really. For me... Too many buttons. Y and A are the jump buttons, X and B are special attack and normal attack. And the rest, I think I've kept the same. And no up jumping. Yes. Yes, indeed. 
Tifa, you'll be happy to know that the safe that got created is literally two lines before the one we were on. Yep. That's gonna be easy enough Beautiful. to get back there. But seriously, two hours for this game. That is not doable. If you don't read out the text. Yeah, if yeah. you just like click through it. Also, I'm sorry, I wasn't just reading the text. I was living Ow. vicariously through it. What did you just do? <laughs> I up. I was just taken aback, but he ain't no the right stick attacks. Well, Skinner, you might you might believe it or not, but if you stick if you flick my right stick, I also attack people. <laughs> this is officially the worst stream on the internet. Yes, it has been. It's been alright. Keep it at that. I mean Skinner's laughing, so clearly he's cool with it, but just saying. Um if you have any complaints about today's stream, if you feel that uh, maybe we took it a bit too far, here's how you can reach us. Um, you, th this is serious, by the way. You take an analog piece of paper and a pen and uh, you write down your complaint in, please do a good handwriting, otherwise we can't read it. Uh, you write it all down and then you crumple up the paper and throw it the fuck away. This is my stream, I do what I want. This is how I show my love. Guessing he's always never seen the tutorial video that plays at the title screen. There's oh, a the tutorial one. video where you start the game. I don't know if I ever saw the Smash Brothers Ultimate one, but I know Melee had the one with Mario describe. Uh, sorry, Mario fighting Bowser, and they describe the main game mechanics, like juggling, and he flies higher with a percentage, and all of that. Yes, Tofu. I'm trying to recall, but I've never seen it. Lies. Lies, I tell you. It's because you want to get in the game, so I always click that away. But I know with Melee there is, and I assume with uh, Ultimate it's the same. I could be wrong, but I imagine it's the same. You are wrong. <sighs> Tifa, can you see if there's somebody for us to raid? Oh, whoa. I need to sleep off my alcohol. Yeah, it's basically the same. And here I was about to actually fire up a round of Smash Brothers to find out mm, nope. whether it is different. All right. I cool. say we just call it a night in this case. That we can do while I break my chair some more. I really would imagine there's a way to sit back on these types of chairs without them making that sound like they're about to just break completely. Just sit normal. I mean, I'm Stop not... Stop breaking it. This is why my chairs last longer than yours. I'm not the lightest person in the world, but I'm also very far from reaching the maximum weight these chairs are supposed to be able to carry. So, yeah. Anyway. Sit normal, exactly. How does a, how does a person sit normal then? Because like like, clearly, I, I don't know. Tifa, how did you like our venture into this beautiful video game featuring the sexy, <laughs> sexy Colonel Sanders. I'm scared for the next stream. Let me keep it like that. Like, do you want to actually continue this like next Sunday or do you want to wait a year until we go full circle and everybody clearly still remembers the story? I don't think I'm ready to play this next Sunday yet, but maybe. We can still yeah. discuss that. Who taught this guy how to sit? I actually nobody, I think. It just happened. Maybe we should have. Yeah, but he really keeps doing this the entire fucking time on his chair. You always like lean all the way back and I don't even know how you do that with this chair because my chair, chair can't do that. Are you sit shaming me? Because yeah. that's what it feels like. <laughs> yes. Anyway, just be like me. You can have three of me and in my chair without reaching maximum weight. Yeah, Not but that bad. means we need to move. Yeah, that as well. I hate that. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Oh, hello, poop lord. This happy is Valentine's the end of the stream. To but you too. I'm like super happy that you're here. So happy uh, Super Bowl Sunday if it matters to you and happy almost Valentine's Day everyone but especially Poblot. Oh, 
It broke my heart, thinking you might not drop by today. Oh. <laughs> I'm not uh, going to miss that. <laughs> Any of it. I do. <laughs> oh, this was an experience. Smart people rock in that chair. Yeah, I've done that once on stream, but the problem is because of how we set up the camera, I will look very small because I'm comparatively far away. Like it's the same thing if I just lean forward. See, you've got the Lord of the Rings camera tick, uh, trick thing where I look twice the size of her. So, I mean, I am, but. You a big girl. <laughs> I am. Got a problem? Nope. I'm loving it. <laughs> it's already Valentine's Day here, fools. Are you throwing a McDonald's thing in a KFC stream? Wow. That took you too long. <laughs> well, Pooplot, can maybe we be your Valentine's? Oh. Oh fuck, we're too late. Benjima's already back. What? Thing to always go offline when the gym is gone. Oh, yeah, 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 true. Shit. Well, I guess now we gotta stream until tomorrow, huh? <laughs> a 24 hour stream confirmed. Sure, if only Jack is my Valentine. You can have him. I'm gonna see if I can set up to only like make half of a screen appear like the person isn't sitting in that chair. <laughs> Just have like a redeem to block or put a filter over. Yeah. I actually know how I can do that. That would be comparatively easy. <laughs> but uh, no, no, you can't just have me. We are a thing, I will have you know. Oh. Where did you think I was going with that? <laughs> wow. I'll still sell them to you. Do it, would be a dope ass stream without Tifa. Only boys allowed in here. He has yeah. streamed alone. I have. Um, like two, two of them, twice. Uh, two streams without I you think. on the third one, you were sitting next to me cooling your face after you had your wisdom teeth pulled out. Yeah. And I missed mm -hmm. you during those streams. <laughs> so think they exist? That, that is true. I think it's time to say goodnight, Tifa. Yes, I wish you all a great rest of your Sunday or slash Monday. Yes. For some, a nice Valentine's Day for all of you that will watch the Super Bowl and a, ni a nice Super Bowl. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody that watches the Super Bowl. Well, no, and to everyone that watches the Super Bowl. Did I fuck that up? I mean, technically your words said the right things, but your sentence structure was all wrong. Oh yeah, that wouldn't be the first time. Everybody, I'll take it. please enjoy your weekend at the very least, enjoy a Sunday. If the Super Bowl is a thing to you, enjoy the Super Bowl, I guess. I'm not a fan of football, but whatever. Uh, we're not gonna be here on Valentine's Day, so love, love to all of you. And we'll be back on Tuesday, once Tifa presses the button to end the stream. Thanks. There she goes. Thank you everybody for ooh, ooh, hanging out. This was a, a sexy stream. We'll be back on Tuesday. Bye. Thank you, thank you.